Ooga fucking Ooga cunts. Welcome to the cunt stream tonight. I, I couldn't get any fucking guests, so we did a fucking open house <laughs> instead. So uh, tonight I got uh, uh, Samaj. Obviously, he's he's reliable. He's always here. Uh, we got uh, the Politopod. We got uh, what the fuck are you calling yourself now, Thorn? Uh, Thorn Midnight or Mrs. Midnight or just Thorn. Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, we got Tiki Bomber. We got uh, Gun Fox sixty one. And uh, the, we got the finer print, and, and legit, uh, I can't, uh, I can't actually see your full name. Legit boss. There we go. So uh, t tonight we got uh, very little to talk about. I also slacked on the topic, but oh, I, I would like to open with the fact that uh, Wrath of Controversy is gone. He, he's left us. He uh, he left a, a little tweet, uh, maybe a little critical of us. Uh All I can say is, uh, I personally am not mad at him. Uh, I can't speak for the entirety of the cunt stream. Uh, I can't speak for every host that that we've got. But I personally hold no ill will toward uh, toward wrath. Uh, also, before anyone else speaks, suit yourself. Yeah, I sent you a fucking link. Uh, now that you've announced it in chat, and now that I've said it out loud, show the fuck up. To wrath. <laughs> Shave your head for us. You know, just go and fuck wrath in the handhole. Exactly. I mean, wrath. Wrath will always be free uh, to come and give me a blowjob handjob combination. <laughs> He's always welcome as a guest. If you look at him from the avatar with the hands face, if if that avatar gave you a blowjob, is it technically a handjob? It, it, it would it's be fucking. Probably it's probably both. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a so what are you eating pussy or fingering? A blam job. Blam job. <laughs> if he gave a hand job, he you know because he like fucking... grabs it with like his mouth and then it's like his giant <laughs> fist that, well, that is his he head. Broke the and he just bursts it and sucks at the same time. And then humna humna blam. That's where you get the blam from. That's how you get that blam job. If his if his avatar was gonna give uh, a hand job to a woman, he'd probably kill her. Speaking of the blam job, did you guys hear about this guy whose uh, grapefruit sized testicle exploded? Go ahead and tell us the story. I, I, I would very much like to hear this story. Please. So this is about a guy in uh, Bolton, England. His name's uh, David Worsley. Uh, grandfather's testicle exploded like a volcano after he caught a rare infection while on holiday, he claimed. David Worsley, 59, from Bolton, thought he was going to die when he contracted African salmonella while on holiday in Tunisia in 2014. The infection triggered inf inflammation, which caused his testicle to swell to the size of a grapefruit, he claims. It saw him spend 10 days in hospital. One then burst while he was in the bath at home a day after he was discharged. He said he has been affected psychologically as a big part of a man has gone. <laughs> How old did you say he was? He's 59 years old, went to uh, Africa in 2014. I guess he came back and didn't really inflame or anything like that. I guess it ended up inflaming after he spent 10 days in the hospital. Uh, he went into the bath and it just, <laughs> it just exploded. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no! Jesus uh, Christ! I don't I'm, even. I'm have crossing that. my legs right now. Uh, Kira <laughs> in the chat has well a very good Africa. point. Uh, this is not the way. This is not the way. Well, and at oh, fifty, at fifty, you know, something, well he's probably not having a lot of sex either way. So <laughs> he did not get the AIDS from Uganda. He you got guys, it you'd be Uganda. shocked. There's a rash of people in of old people in Florida. They're just getting all these STDs because they won't stop banging each other. Oh really? Well, I wonder it's a why. serious oh, I mean, health I wonder, problem. How, how do you know this? No, it's not. Uh, my friend works down there with old people. But she's like, oh, it's wow. a huge problem. She's like, well, think of it this way: one of their spouses is dead, and they can't get pregnant anymore. Hey, you know what? It takes two to tango. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. Old, old people need love too. Right. I mean, no, old hey. people do not need love. They've used up their capacity for love. That's why they're all old, on society. Rusty. Hey, you know uh, what? Where, where the fuck do you think that old leathery look comes from? That's from nobody touching you. Well, mute. That's are wearing at your face over time. Mute Gasly <laughs> goes and says, old people sex is not the way. <laughs> uh, I, I agree entirely. <laughs> Something that is happening. I mean, at least it's not gonorrhea that they're spreading. 
No, so it's like all good... of them. Well, okay. Like all of them. Colonel Titus. Maria AIDS. Blink. Salmonella in the dick. Salmonella in the balls. Just like imagine that old folks home and it just be for day. It's like a cesspool. <laughs> they don't let, they're dying anyways. Might as well kill them off quicker. I mean, that's 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 the theory. It's like I can't get pregnant anymore. My spouse is dead. I might as fucking well. And then some of them turn into bug chasers. Then that's a whole nother story. Oh, <laughs> that's another thing. That is not the way. That that's is a... not the way, brothers. <laughs> that's sort of the way. No, 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 no. Bug chasers are. <laughs> bug chasers are on. God. Bug chasers are on the same level as Amos chasers. All right. Let's just let's just put it that way. They're on the same level as sheep fuckers. I like yeah. how fading and dark in the chat's like old people <laughs> fuck like rabbits. It's like okay, so what are you speaking from experience? <laughs> I think Jesus well, Christ. What do you call an older woman who's still sexually um active? A cougar. A dragon. No, 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 no. no, no, that, no, no that's no, an no. older woman. Dragon. We're, we're talking about old women. I mean, and like, like 80, 90. you gotta remember there was an entire TV show about this about old women still going out and having fucks. Golden Girls. <laughs> yeah, and, and if if you'll remember, uh, only one of them was anywhere near hot. Yep, Blanche. Uh, 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 whichever one was Betty White. Oh, <laughs> <but> not Blanche. <laughs> no, yeah, really, really old cougars are called dragons. <laughs> Dragon balls. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. We we got. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we we got uh, five men here, other than me. One of you tell me you would not stick it to Betty White at least once. No, I would not. No, I can't, I'm dude. Like, you're a right. fucking liar. No, I like how you Only asked him if to I was because really I would totally do that. Yeah, I think the women are right. right. She's like... older than sliced bread. Why the fuck not? Well, because uh, she's older than sliced bread. Yes. Just for just for the experience, yeah. yeah. She's stale bread. Uh, you gotta figure Betty White is famous and like a hundred years old. Uh, I, she she knows. I mean, look, you, you can have a guy. You can have a guy who tells you, "Hey, you know, I cl climbed Mount Everest. Pfft, shit, I fucked Betty White." She's also the exactly. only <laughs> actress that I know of who has a wax replica of herself <laughs> that looks exactly like her. It's because she did wax. <laughs> That's how she you keeps know what? Her long, uh, her I, long want fuck, I, I want to fuck Betty White so badly. I'd fuck the fucking wax Betty White. <laughs> now you got to get a Betty White fellow behind you. <laughs> it's just so much. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Dude, wax. somebody draw Schmeckle fucking Betty White with his nut exploding. Wait, <laughs> Betty White. Everybody shut the fuck up for a second. If you ever happen to see this, um, I'd very much like to take you on a respectful date. <laughs> that ends in hardcore, <laughs> disgusting, deplorable, just deviant sex. <laughs> I love you. She might wear you out, Schmeckle. Well, Schmeckle, according to Fading, due to her age, she would know what she's doing. Exactly. Betty White would know her shit. She was a play. She I think like Smack was like serious. We're all laughing. <laughs> Some, somebody, everybody, please cut that clip out and send that to Betty White. I tweeted at her. Oh, I wonder. I, you know what? I'm about to do that. <laughs> yeah, tweet it. Click on it. Tweet it. <laughs> oh god. God have mercy on ourselves. Oh, that's good. That is hey, good. By the way, uh, Betty, up? Betty, baby. Um, uh, uh, I kind of got a, a whole wife situation, so I hope you're down for a threesome. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how does, how does Mrs. How oh, does Mrs. Well, we'll Schmeckle ditch feel? We'll ditch her. How does Mrs. Schmeckle feel that you're like volunteering her for this? I brought this up on a night where she's not here. <laughs> All of you guys out there, I expect to see Twitter memes of this shit. Yeah, that's a great meme. <laughs> Samaj, you be memeing the hell out of this. Yes. Picture this. Schmeckle. Schmeckle's avatar. Fucking Betty White. With his nut exploding. <laughs> I bet like Speckle and Betty White in a bed, and they're both they're both laying with each other with the covers over them. <laughs> Might have to get Max Burr on that one. They both have cigarettes. Oh yeah, yeah. Max Burr, if you're watching. <laughs> no, Speckle uh, has his unlit cigar, like always. 
<laughs> no, no, Betty White has a cigar, and, and he's just stuck with the fucking cigarette. So she took it. He's, like, covering up his face with the oh. cover. Oh, God. <laughs> God, we're, we're all going to hell. Uh, you know what? I already have a spot reserved, so if you want, I could save you a place. <laughs> that is good. That is good. No, I mean, I, at, at, at this rate, hell is full of quality people, so yeah. How, how did we get to this subject again? <laughs> Floating nuts. Uh, exploding uh, hey. Somebody brought up the Golden Girls. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, mind. dude, that's the other because, part of no, that, right? It's like you're the you, only you, people with dude, STDs. You be, you yeah, that would be, like, be my fault. Dude, like, think about this. You you might be like the last person that Betty that White has ever had sex with. That means you're having sex with like the last golden girl. Yeah, you know, it. that makes it even better. Exactly. Now I have even more of a reason to want to fuck Betty White. Exactly. <laughs> I found a Golden Girls Life coloring book. Slash bucket list added on. Schmeckle, Schmeckle, what are you going to do if you're fucking her and she dies? Are you just going to keep going? <laughs> no, <laughs> look at well, uh, I, I don't know. It, it's kind of at that point where uh, can I come before she goes cold? <laughs> You'd be like, well, we started when she was alive. <laughs> that would be interesting, though. If he just like cupped her head, looked at her, and said, thank you for being a friend. You just look away, and when the cops ask, you say you didn't know she died. Oh, jeez. Yeah, get that joke. It's, it's the theme song to Golden Girls. That's, yeah. that's what it was. <laughs> your heart oh, is God, true, Michael. You you're a pal and a confidant. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> oh, I good. remember watching that as a part of my childhood. That was oh, yeah. Childhood. I watched it all the time. Very Please, I watched that last week. No, that was Golden Girls was a part of my childhood. It's kind of disturbing now that I think about what it was really about. Golden Girls were really how fucking most... old are you, Tiki? I'm at least yeah, one billion seconds old. Yeah, uh, that's that's math I don't want to do. <laughs> I'm probably getting <laughs> she's still younger than I am. Don't worry about it. But don't, I'm not Coach Red Pill old. Wait, wait, uh, she is at least thirty-one point seven years yeah. old. That is sixty-one. Is that is that your birth year? Mine? No. No. Okay, I was gonna say you don't sound uh, quite that old. Tiki's probably like thirty-three or something. Well, I just said at least one billion seconds yeah. old. Yeah, you're about thirty years old. So no, uh, so younger than I am. Tiki, if you're thirty-three, uh, Samaj is somewhere in that area. And, uh, you know, feminism means equality for all the sexes. And I bet you've had oh sex within God. the past 10 years. And Samaj hasn't. You you can even out. You can make equality happen. <laughs> well, do you consider rape as having sex? Not if you don't. Yeah, know rape if you want. I don't care. There's an app for that now. There's an app <laughs> yeah, it's, for a, that. it's amazing because one billion seconds is over 30. <laughs> <laughs> I just want you guys to know. I wasn't kidding. No, no, I had to look it up to see if it was accurate and you were correct. Um, what is this world coming to? I mean, there's a there's an app for sex, there's an app for fucking zombies, there's an app for what? What else? Tinder? Uh, for fucking no. yourself. There's an app oh, for projects. Yeah, it's called really the fucking Pornhub app. It's great. <laughs> Actually, yep, they are fantastic. great. They're now working on saving the whales. Right? And sex ed. Mm-hmm. And wait, 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 wait. Are, are people still trying to save the fucking whales? Is well, that Porn still Hub is. The Porn Hub the is blue whales. the whales. Well, yep. yeah. here's the interesting statistics here. And the statistics are not with you guys. They also bought uh, snow plows. The statistics are saying that kids in high school are actually having less sex than we did. I believe, I believe that. that. Yep, there's something I mean, wrong with that. There can't be a low oh, number. I agree. Zero. No, 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 no. no. It, there, it, there's it, there's it, nothing it, wrong it. with that. Oh, look at the fucking, uh, the, the fucking people we have today uh, in high school. Uh, these fucking uh, uh, soon to be adults. Uh, we've got, uh, uh, we've got. Uh, I hate the fucking term, but I can't think of a better one right now. We've got soy boys, and we've got fucking uh, future feminists. And cucks. Cultural sensitive. Of course, they're not fucking. Let's take a let's take an in depth look at what who's in high school. The most 
awkward, annoying, soy boyish type people ever are in high school now. And it's not just the dudes anymore because like the girls are like super awkward too now, but they look like they're like, you know, like there's like been like this thing that's been going around, right? Of uh, what's wh who's the catch me out Scott, side girl? The uh, Daniel uh, Daniel Bergoli. Bergoli. Daniel yeah, Bergoli. Like, she looks like she's like probably seventeen or eighteen. She's only like fifteen or sixteen. Yeah. So like the women are like they're they're developing at a much greater rate, but they're um like emotional and um social connections aren't quite the same as what we would have had at 17 or 18 so oh, they're yeah. getting really socially awkward but they're like they're like going out and trying to date people but they're not having sex because they're like oh, i don't think i'm ready and then like the dudes are like looking at these basically full-grown women at that point well we also like, live in an instant gratification society now so everything's instant so why would you want to talk to somebody at school or make an actual relationship when you can just go home and have a million followers and all that other shit that well, doesn't really matter. Sex whenever you have Snapchat and Tinder, and you can just get them online, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, I, we, I never had that when I was growing up. So I. That's why, still to this day, I mean, I care about social media, but not enough to, you know, not go out and meet people. Yeah, exactly. And it's it's gotten extreme now because of you know technology plus you know all these other. Well, <laughs> thirty is the new twenty. Yeah. Right. Well, it's not. You're I'm not. I mean, I'm not wrong. So. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, you're a little wrong. Well, I mean, <laughs> at, at least in the phrase. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not saying that it's okay to fuck 13 year olds, but the 13 year olds are starting to look like they're in high school. 12, like 12 year olds are starting to look like they're, you know, well, 16. You know, also, okay. I, I, I don't know if I've ever seen like a 12 year old. Year old that looks Where are all the parents that sit there and let their kids act this way? Get on social media. Like it's just amazing. Um, we always talk. Everybody always talks about the kids. The kids. There's, oh, we're, you know, we're, what about the parents? These it's parents okay, have to sweetie. be as stupid as the kids. Be whoever you want to be. I'm not going to yeah. stop you at all. Yeah, there's, exactly. There's, the um, there, there's actually two problems with with kids and parents at this moment. To to get enough to have a financially stable household, yeah, it's at the point where both parents have to work, and so there's no one taking care of the kids for at least an hour. So then they can go off and do whatever the fuck they want, and that's not good. The second problem with that is that we're also dealing with a huge, huge boom in single-parent households, and uh, predominantly mother-raised ones, and that's also a very dysfunctional household oh, yeah. because kids, the, 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 the kids learn discipline pretty much from fathers. And without well, no, a father, I agree with you, but uh, what I, I think what I'm saying is like with the, the technology. Well, I mean, I'm not trying to be like an old, you know, I'm only thirty. But why are these kids allowed to have these cell phones? I mean, why are these kids allowed to have these computers when you studies have shown kids don't use that type of technology responsibly? Now, I'm not nice. a censor. I'm not a censorship guy, but kids don't have the type of rights to use that technology responsibly. And I'm I'm not There's trying a lot to be of an anti. Don't use the technology, guys. I want I want you guys to take a quick, take a quick look at this that I've got on my screen right now. How old do you think that girl is right there? Probably 14, 15. That's yeah. a fucking thirteen-year-old. Thirteen. Um, about twelve, maybe thirteen. Uh, that girl is fifteen years old. Yeah, she is an Instagram model, and she is now a millionaire. Hey. Yep, she's a millionaire. Yep, because of Instagram. that doesn't make her okay to to, to whip no, your dick in and jack no, off. That's what I'm not saying at all, but. 15 year olds in her grade are seeing this. They're seeing Instagram models of people like this now because of the amount. Uh, I, I guess it's like hormones of food or something now. I don't know. Maybe it's something in the water. But people well, like this are popping up all over, and all the kids are like, wow, she's hot. Man, maybe I should just like fuck her. And then she's how like, is that making the, how is that making them have less sex? Because well, no, and that goes no, back to my me, point. I was talking about Instagramification. Why would you want to form relationships in person when you can go home and have millions of followers that are going to praise you and and like bow to you? Because you know? I want to put my dick in things. Well, yeah, no, and do I you agree think that with girl's going to give I it up agree. whenever she's talking to people like I don't know uh, Wiz Khalifa, for, for instance. So you go for Trace the girl Hall. who's not a fucking Instagram model. No, that's fine. But you know, some of these uh, like bigger schools, that's like you know, some of the the girls they're like, they're just oh. out of people's leagues at this point. Because you know, if you have like a, a school girl or like a click at that school, and you're only interested in them and like some of the other girls oh. out there, you don't want to drop your standards at all. 
basically what you're saying you're, is you're it's basically trying to date an Instagram model and there's like 20 year olds that are now going out like fuck there's people online that are saying like oh fuck I want to fuck Daniel Bregoli and they're like in their 20s and 30s yeah it's I mean like, my, my best friend and business partner sister 20 years old has never had a boyfriend never she's part of this uh, this me social media culture she's going to all these bullshit concerts like Coachella that don't fucking matter have the worst music ever you know, it's like it, they don't want to form real relationships anymore. They rather just live in the the insta gratification era. It's weird that uh, you I mean, if, bring if this you guys... up because I recently was watching some videos about like worst video gamers, and one of the video gamers literally states he wants to live in the virtual world. That's scary. because living in the real world is just too painful. Exactly. Yeah. If you guys, if you guys look at this from from a different perspective here. Since you guys are all probably in your thirties, yeah, this was this this is the same line of, of I am narrative. Nowhere near my thirties. Well, except for you, Schmeckle, you're again. ancient. Um, but if you look at, at what what's been going on, and let's say in the nineties or in the eighties when MTV was coming out, and and we we were hearing the same kind of of narratives from people about the exact same thing. You know, people don't kids don't want to be you know in the real world. They want to be with Madonna and Michael Jackson. You know, granted, the technology has improved since, but still, it's the same story. Well, here's, the, here's the other interesting thing that you well, got to look at. People aren't having sex as much as they are in high school. But what is happening is when they do have sex, they're not being as smart as people who are having sex in high school. They're, the single motherhood rate's now been jumping up. And it's not maybe just that. Maybe it's just like fathers are leaving because they're too immature to, to deal with it. But the single, like single motherhood, single fatherhood rates now – are extremely high. Like they went oh, up. Like, yeah. like seventy four percent of the black population is yeah. one second blood. Well, yeah. well, in the black in the black population, I think. Yeah, it's whoa, 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 they one have second. Hang on. No, we got a comment in the chat that uh, I'm confused as shit. Board of Y record series done by the guy who does Foamy the Squirrel says a lot about today's music. Very accurate. But does anybody know what? With any of the, well, any of that, only the squirrel is a. It was a new grounds animated series that was going on. Now it's on YouTube, and, and he makes a lot of comments about uh, music and pop culture and all that. Some of which I agree with, some of which I don't. But it's, I mean, it's very much a. Too, by the way. I yeah, the legendary it, it most, concert away for the vod. Yeah, but most of what he does, it's very nihilistic. Everything sucks, kind of thing. I, I don't know if I really agree with that. It, it's more of a gimmick than anything else. <laughs> Well, I mean, the thing is, is uh, I agree with you. We've had these cycles, but no, uh, it's more important today that these things are actually fixed because it's only going to get worse with technology. If these type of behaviors aren't put in check by the parents and the teachers, then people are just not going to care about their fellow man. You're walking down the street. you Like when I open doors, I find it kind of insulting that people like, don't say thank you. Like I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but it really does show you about the common everyday person on how technology, social media, internet suppress common decency. Yeah, I, would agree, I, I yeah. can see that. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't really. I don't say think that. the answer is to right. to take away technology. I, no, I don't I'm think it's saying, to limit. It. I think it's to use it responsibly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's to use it more responsibly. It's to, you know, not like that's one of the things that I I made my New Year's resolution this year was like don't be on. Twitter and shit like that as much this year. Just like check it every once in a while, if you need to or you have to. Pod, uh, you you did a very fucking irresponsible thing uh, last year on Twitter. What did, what did I do? Uh, you sent me a thing that I did a very irresponsible oh. thing with. <laughs> <laughs> what By the way, if anyone wants to donate to my Patreon, you will get that if you donate one dollar. No, uh, we we won't tell you what. Well, it, 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 it is. Uh, You're not it, gonna it know it is. It is porn by the very very well known, very popular <laughs> Luna reptile. Oh um, no no no. She's fantastic. No, no 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 no. Like you would oh, hope. That is, that is wait wait wait. Actually, that be on heresy. Actually, that calls for for a quote here. I'd buy that for a dollar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I have the entire drop box of it. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna be right back. I, I gotta, I gotta take a piss. Uh, Samaj is in charge. Uh, Samaj, uh, oh boy, don't don't ruin things. Uh, when I get back, uh, when I get back, I'm gonna get rid of one of these four people uh, that aren't that aren't uh, hosts of one of the various shows. 
and then uh, we'll we'll pull somebody new in. But um, yeah, and, and uh, that's the thing is all I'm saying is that it's about responsibility. Mm -hmm. And I just find that the parents are just as irresponsible as the children. I mean, you go online and you see some of these parents on social media and they're just as stupid as the kids. And so at what point are we just going to kind of stand up as not just a people, but a country and say, listen, it needs to stop. You need to be more responsible and stop being stupid. Yeah, because people make fun um, of it. It's a joke at this point, yeah. and well, if it's a joke, then it's not serious. Well, it, you see idiocracy, right? Everybody, no, of course. Right. Yeah, Can it's, I... getting, it's getting to the point where idiocracy is about to start taking over, and that's a very scary thought, you know. Because I think it's... we've started with the Tide Pod challenge. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, okay. no, no, I'm not changing no. the subject. We got to, we got to finish the yeah. point. But, no, Kiki Bomber. I do, I do want to go back to the previous point about Schmeckle and Betty White. Hang on one I got a DM from somebody nice saying that she has no interest in gorillas. Right, did you, you really? And that'd be hilarious. If anyone's like, I'm not, I'm sorry. So will you but, tell whoever the fuck said that that I will not accept that as fact until I hear it from her? But um, Tiki, I, I did want to point out that now. not too far, uh, not too far back, it was a trend on the internet to set yourself on fire. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're making a, a valid that makes point. Sense if you're a stunt double. Well, I mean, it was. I think it was like what the fire, the fire challenge, uh, predominantly done by black the water bucket challenge or water bucket challenge. Well, the fire challenge. Uh, I remember V was talking no, about it. It was predominantly was black yeah. people that was doing that. That was interesting. Well, yeah, and that's somebody... the thing is like things like that to me. Blanking. Okay, that's just stupid, and like universally we can accept that as stupid. But I'm talking about people letting their 13 year olds, 14 year olds go on Instagram, taking lewd pictures, talking to unknown people, and just shrugging it off as, well, this is just the 21st century and this is what we do, and not allowing their kids to go into sports. Like, I kind of find it weird to me that sports all of a sudden is looked at like, oh, that's stupid. I, I I don't know if I I'd say it was. I think it's been a trend though for like the last few years. Like I remember my senior year of high school, we had like maybe like my my freshman year that we were playing, we had about seventy five kids on the team, and this is a high school of about about a thousand four hundred people. Um, Big high school. Proceed to senior year, we have about maybe fifty, maybe forty. So wow, I think it really drops class. off. Well, because people don't – and I think it's partly because we weren't a very great team. But I also attribute it because there's, like, people who would rather go home and play Madden all day yep, or go home and watch Sports Center, or go home and play some other game or not do sports at all. Yeah, um, and I'm not games. against video games, and I don't think anybody here is, but there is a problem if you're just going to sit there and consume yourself with it and not want to go out into the real world. Again, people have the right to do whatever they want, but it, it, how long can this continue is all my so, point. There's people right, who I'm gonna stop, who've right, guys, them. Guys, I'm going to stop you right there. Uh, we got a $5 super chat from American okay, Phoenix. Uh, just woke up. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. Here's money. Hi, Thorn. I hope you are having a <laughs> good night. Hi, everyone else, and good night. I love you, American Phoenix. Oh, you have a very story. good night, uh, American Phoenix. You, you're you're one of our, our favorite viewers. You you keep giving us money. You're my favorite fan, dude. Uh, I give you a big old smooch. Very nice. I told but, him to the chat. Yeah, like I was saying though, like I spit uh, on him. I spit on the victim. <laughs> Brothers. Follow me. I am the commander. You know, what you know the way? way? Well, <laughs> he does not know the way. Follow me to the queen. The queen? The queen? If the queen is this way, brothers. Uh, Godfather him. says he would he would give me money, but he, I would spend it on marijuana leaf. Godfather, I promise I will only buy the best buds if you send me money. <laughs> and maybe some alcohol. Maybe. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, you those those days, right? <laughs> If I'm mm -hmm. saying, the problem with kids nowadays is a multi-part problem. You have parents who really aren't parents. You have guys that aren't stepping up and being the men that they need to be to raise these children. They uh, Children need guidance. They need mentorship. And that's what fathers bring also. Mm -hmm. um, and schools are so fucked up that the teachers would rather 
be their friends than actually teach them. And what they do teach them is all bullshit anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, then, and that's and yeah, exactly. And I think it's yeah, it's a, it's a combination of a lot of things. I don't think you can on one thing. It is. It's a lot of things. All right, and, now, uh, b- before we go on, uh, I, I did say I would get rid of one person and bring somebody new in. Uh, Tiki uh, volunteered to be the first to go. Mm-hmm. If you, you guys have a good night. Yeah, Tiki, you have a nice night. Yeah, Tiki, have a nice night. It was nice chatting with you. Don't follow me. Bye. Somebody touching my spaghetti. <laughs> Okay, don't follow her. Somebody, right, touch uh, anybody else? Uh, anybody else who wants in? Uh, obviously, the next person coming in has already been decided. But in half an hour, I'll get rid of somebody else. Uh, I'll volunteer for, for the next one. Uh, there we go. Finer will be the the next one gone. Uh, send a DM to at Schmeckle TV. Uh, if you don't send it there, I'm uh, I'm probably gonna miss you in the chat. So. But yeah, anyway, go go on, Gunfox. Also, you have the reason why kids are are progressing; their bodies are progressing faster than their minds are. If you look at what's being pumped into these calves on these factory farms, and I can tell you, it is happening that they are pumping these calves full of steroids to get them as big and bulky as they can to get their weight up to get more money for the market. Um. That's these factory farms, and they're mainly run in the Midwest. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. So, the one thing I agree with vegans on is that factory farms are bad, but they're such a gigantic joke well, that nobody will listen now. Well, what do you say about they are necessary evil, though. They are a very necessary evil, though, because normal farming cannot sustain seven billion people. And even then, they can't. We can't support it. But, um, the U.S. Per, uh, exports more food than any other country. Than any other country. So it's. So, you want to talk about famine? If you take away the factory farms, you're just the U.S. will may the U.S. may be able to produce enough food just for itself. And already we can't. We we are past that tipping point. And I think it was around the two uh, two hundred million mark. That uh, go ahead. Speaking on kind of the same topic there, uh, Brian XX says Americans giving Schmeckle money just proves we have given up on Africa, and are now worried about <laughs> Canadian retards. I, I can promise you, Brian, that I have it much harder than anybody in Africa. Uh, <laughs> just the other day, Except I had to you. buy a, a cheaper beer than usual. It, it, do you know? Do you know? It tasted slightly different. It, it was, it was a little skunky. I, I will drink my twenty dollar bottle of vodka. I hope, I, I hope you all know uh, my fucking struggle. Things, well, things are hard here. Well, and the thing is, is like I understand. Uh, I don't. I, you know, I I don't eat red meat. I haven't in years. I I mean, I still eat chicken stuff. And I do think there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, but I do think. We can take steps just to make it more humane, is all I will say. Well, well like, I mean, that was where I, I was to, getting oh, at. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, hold on, hold on. I, uh, that's a very good point there, Legit Boss. Well, we just got a $5 donation from Legit Boss. Uh, thanks for having me. Are you going somewhere? No, I'm just saying thanks for having me, dude. I, <laughs> I gave you, a- you know you're in the stream, right? Like, <laughs> hey, 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 you, you're you already in. Tell you, us you, you don't have to pay for... Oh, you don't, get to pay I don't, but I just check out. You know, I, like, you I, don't I, have I'm to pretty, kiss Schmeckle's ass I'm pretty, anymore. Pretty, well, no, I'm pretty courteous. Anybody that ever has me, I feel like you know you should chip into the pot. Gosh, hey, you no, I'm not, not complaining. Uh, I love when we get money. Yeah, exactly. But um, buy that cheap beer you like. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, and that's the thing is, it's just humane. I think uh, like California, for example, we passed the the laws. I'm in California. We passed yeah, the laws a couple years ago. To where the they should be caged way. and they're still caged so it's like i don't understand like why is it so hard to make it humane and it comes down to real estate they just don't want to get more real estate and it just shows you the level of incompetency and cruelty some of these companies have yeah, well real lack of empathy yeah well, factory farm, let me let me ask you a question is Who it empathetic to let uh, a human die of of starvation because we can't produce enough food 
or is it in, is it more inhumane for that to happen or more unjust for that to happen than it is to make a cow suffer for maybe a year then put it on a conveyor belt put a bullet in its head or a bolt rather well but this thing you're pitting me in a in a position to no, choose just one cruelty over there no but the, and i agree with you i get your point and i obviously anybody that says the human is is stupid but my my point is is that why can't we balance both Try to feed the people that need food while giving the animals a nice area to live before they are used for food. Because we are past, here's the thing, we are past the point of no return for that. We need factory farms. They are, they are here to stay. They will be more. Because the thing is, we cannot physically produce enough food. Yeah. Okay, but to, to can, I, can I make a point though? Hold up. Oh, this is vegans. Um, if they think that plants are the way, are the way of the future the and people being vegan, there's not enough land. There's not enough um, land that can be used for actually growing food to feed the entire human population. It's just it's no, not a thing. It's not because here's why. You have all these city people that are moving into the suburbs. Well, what do the suburbs take? It takes land. Where do they take it from? They take it from farms. And once you, once you um, industrialize, or once you, uh, can, uh, shit, it's a lot. I lost the the word, but um, once you build upon land, you cannot farm it ever again. No, you can't. It's ruined. You, yeah, it's ruined. So. It can be brought back with some great effort, but that takes. Okay, but all no, I'm saying, so Renegade, no, I get no, no, your no, point no. about you know we're we're par, uh, past the point of no return, but then couldn't I just say that about our society and and the kids and you know because that's kind of like a doom and gloom type. You know, I'm not accusing you of that. Obviously, I'm just saying it's kind of a doom and gloom. Mm -hmm. I do believe we can take steps over a long period of time to maybe invest mm -hmm. in alternative ways because you know the thing is let, let's be honest money is bullshit it's fake it's just paper so having some money dedicated to some efforts to invest in the different technologies i don't think see it as a waste of spending you know yeah, yeah but before a logical I, I just invited a logical lion on uh he he wants to to refute uh the uh, your talking points uh be before he does so, I kind of zoned out. Can you uh, give us a brief summary of, of your talking points? Of whose? Yeah, uh, we're just kind of talking. Oh, shit! <laughs> As vegan? Which one of you is the vegan? Give me the vegan. Yeah, yeah. Well, which, whichever was the vegan. <laughs> Where's a vegan? Is I'm a vegan on here? Yourself I, vegan. It's not I'm like not you can vegan. normally walk into a room and someone just doesn't say, I'm a fucking vegan. So let yourself know right vegan. now. Who's the vegan? <laughs> who let this guy in? The, 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 the lion. The logical lion. The guy who actually yeah. has a lion avatar <laughs> say he's a vegan. <laughs> the actual lion said he's a vegan. <laughs> Ironic, well, I isn't it? There's nothing wrong with being a vegan. I think it's one of your virtues. Oh, yeah, no, me either. Yeah, it's Hell when you virtue no. signal like you're a better person, I think, is the problem. So there's no vegan here? No. Yeah, not, so I, I am actually vegan. About how shit no, about no. Ve <laughs> you were just talking about how shit veganism is, no. and you're saying other people were virtue signaling. Come oh, on, no, guys. Have a bit of self-awareness. No, Logical's <laughs> a vegan. Yeah, hey, and hey, I want to correct way, some uh, things. Hey, that you're a lion! Hey, 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 logical lion, I just want you to know. That U.S. meat companies produced 25.8 billion pounds of beef last year, and uh -huh. uh, the U.S. total consumption of, of beef was uh, 24.1 billion pounds. So I just refuted your 80% number that you gave me. So if you'd like to try again. God, that's pretty sad, isn't it? I mean, God, I mean. 80% oh, regarding what? You said I mean, it was 80 I, I've actually got to say, yeah. was fed back to cows, which is it seems like incredible. an excessive when your amount argument of meat. comes down no, to grain. statistics. It's pretty sad. No, you said it was no, beef. it's the grain. No, I, I miss I mistyped then. I, I I was talking about the grain, the amount of grain that we feed to cows. Uh, eighty percent of 
uh, plant material oh, that's grown goes to feed cows. Grain is even more boring. Oh, it's grain. But but the point is, there's some there's, there's some factual nothing more boring than grain. No, no, he does no, but he does make a good point. The 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 studies showing how much agriculture we use to raise animals, it's well, alarming. You know, we do use yeah. a lot of resources to hold get. On, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just for this, I'm going to pull this one out. How many how many millions of acres do you think it cost farmers to make enough corn for E85? Oh corn. God, it's, I mean tons. I mean I can't even imagine <laughs> the numbers. I mean, I know it's, it's a lot. Can, can I ask more? you a question? It takes E85? more land. E85 is what they put in gas. Uh, an acre, ethanol. A, a, yeah, ethanol. Yeah, that's what I was about to. Who voted for Obama in here, by the way? A, a square acre of corn produces. 210 gallons. A square acre of wheat grass <laughs> produces 1550. So, why yeah, would and then what's the efficiency on that gallon, though, would be the question. Hey, let me, uh, logical. How many miles do you, you know? You know what I'm saying? How many miles would you get from that gallon? Logical. Yeah. Uh, did you vote for Obama? Uh, oh, fuck. Well, yes. Okay. Uh, so, you hey. voted for. You guys are the most sinfully dull people I've ever met. <laughs> no one cares, you're all fat. We're actually no talking cares. about tonnage of grain. For fuck's sake. Spit on him. Spit on him. Spit on him. Come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> the the Russell does have a, he does have a good fucking point. The stream has gone downhill. Uh, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. As far as the yeah. whole veganism argument goes, uh, yeah, obviously there's uh, an apparent uh, economic argument. Economic. But uh, it's, it's not one that's ever going to fucking matter. Yeah, I agree. It's look, something yeah, that's look, it's look, personal. Look. It's a personal decision. Thank you. There you go. It's a personal decision, but at least have the facts. Don't go around spitting bullshit saying, oh, well, if we if we didn't eat meat, all oh, the poor cows, or or that we wouldn't be able to grow enough food. That's bullshit. It's factually incorrect. Go ahead. Nah, eat shut the fuck up. End of the day, right? You still write on paper. You're still using fucking a computer that's got circuitry yep. that creates fucking yep. any kind of shit that comes from pig fat. And well, our clothes are from slave you're labor, not a fucking too. fucking vegan, mate. You're a fucking yep. virtue Wait, 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 wait. wait. Drunk, 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 drunk. Are, 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 you, are you saying that... Are, are you saying that some of the shit inside a computer comes from pigs? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's that's me. Uh, you're going to have to... What the fuck in my computer comes from a pig? I, I I actually can look it up. I know there is something that comes from animals. I'm not it's sure. Glycerin. What it is. You use glycerin to make. Oh, it and that guy's avatar oh, okay, is gotcha. a brain. So uh, say let me you ask want. you a question. Uh, the slave labor thing. Where's the slave labor coming from? Oh no, no. I'm saying um, we, we we you know we wear clothes that we don't know. I and it's a fact we don't know where our clothes come from all the time, and we just aimlessly buy them without really thinking about where they're coming from. So. from. I only buy my clothing from sweatshops. Well, and it my point is with that is that's why I don't work very good with, with the cross stitching. Yeah, 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 I mean all well, my clothes my are coming from Bangladesh. <laughs> Sure yeah, with people from China. signal, I kind of laugh because yeah, these China. are the same people that are wearing clothes that are probably made in slave shops. Uh, this is a fucking so top me, hat made of this. leather <laughs> sewn together by uh, Indonesian children, most likely. Yeah, yeah, but let me ask you this And question. I wear it every if, fucking day. If American or Canadian or European countries uh, send companies over to these areas where the average daily uh, money intake for the family is like 60 cents a day, and now they are making $2 a day, who are you to tell oh, those people that that, that, that exactly exactly? So who are you to tell them that they? Someone got they, a promotion. Do you think oh, it's no, any no, worse I than agree them? With that. Do, no, no. Do you think it's any worse than them going out to the farms and having no. a slave? No, I agree with you. No. All no. I'm saying though Can is that to talking about exploring you never nuts? ever grandstand on one position and then totally falter on another. That's all my yeah. point is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a matter of you know you can't say oh I'm not a murderer but I beat my wife. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I've got it on good authority. He's wearing a Gap hoodie right now, by the way. No, <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> my, my shirt was probably made in China. Um, here's the thing though, when you look at when you look at quality of products, the U.S. has the U.S. and Canada is well above any other third world country that. That 
that includes Hell China, no. Fuck no. Mexico, if Black I'm going to look at a product, right, I look at the stitching and I say that this is, uh, that could only be achieved by small Thai fingers. <laughs> I knew he was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point. He's got a point. I mean, that's quality but, stitching, right? <laughs> not wrong. How many of you actually go and look at your clothes and say, Oh, I'm not gonna buy anything that's from China. And then you look at the tag and you're like, "Oh no, this one's from China." Well, that's the point I'm making. Taiwan. This one's from. Yeah, Vietnam. I know for a fact everything I wear is made in China. I know for a fact I... that anything I wear is something that's comfortable to me. It yeah. lasts me a long time, and I wear it to either a go to work or b go to work out in. Well, surely yeah. if it was from China, it would last you long time. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... That's that's not correct. That's Vietnam. <laughs> yeah, that's been oh, so did I racism wrong? My bad. It, it, you're right. yeah, yeah, you're, that, you're going a little too <laughs> far, drunken. <laughs> fucking seed. <laughs> fucking happens. full metal jacket, drunken uncle. What the it fuck? Happens. Don't worry. Are you actually <laughs> drunk? No, um, not hang on. Uh, it drunk. is 4:47 a.m. here, so that would be a wise assumption, my friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he's <laughs> up at this time because he's sober. He, he yeah, was I was gonna say, morning. isn't it really yeah, early? Yeah, yeah. Morning? I came onto the cunt stream because I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Don't let drunken. No, uh, drunkle. I I heard you talking earlier. Uh, I think it was on the ghost poo. It might have been something different. It would have been on the uh, ghost poo. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you were saying well, something along the lines of how? Or no, no, it, it was not the ghost poo. It was. Uh, I was still uh, on the ghost Gulf poo. City. Though. It was Gulf City. Oh shit! Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yeah, I did that, didn't I? That one, that one, too long ago. I forget about that. So you're saying your, uh, your fucking uh, real name, your details, uh, those are always gonna stay uh, personal to you. Uh, Drunkle oh, and uh, your best. real persona yeah. will, will never meet uh, of your own volition. I would really like it if my personal details. Stayed personal, you know. Fingers well, crossed. See, um, uh, we actually lined up a nice surprise for you. If if somebody would like to uh, tell oh, him to come on shit. in, uh, we've got Zephanorian himself here. Oh, oh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, drunken <laughs> uncle. I have on, on good authority that your name is Chester Nigelfield. You're from Brighton, <laughs> England. That is what I have in my file, sir. Is this correct? Right, you got the Brighton part right, but not the England part. Jesus fucking Christ, there's more you than one. You guys are a manufacturer uh, a lot in England. My friend uh and my friend says you guys got some manufacturer over there. I never really looked into the details. Because my yeah, we do um we, we, we do a lot of ammunition actually, which is why just like America, war is good business for our countries. <laughs> they produce more What do you guys damn where do you guys else? get the metal from is my question. Who is this guy? Who the Good day. Uh, this this is the uh, the, the incredible, incredible Aspie. Aspie. Yeah, uh, the incredible Aspie. He he got mad beef with Andy Worski, and uh, they they, they had a did. fist fight. Uh, <laughs> but it came down to just a slap fight, and then they made peace. What what what, what are you uh, getting on Andy Ray Skorsky about? A Andy well, got what on happened him was I am. Um, uh, well, let me tell you the story. The uh, oh my I days, you sound such a soy boy. <laughs> Have your balls actually dropped? I am. I don't drink soy. I do almond milk. Anyway, no, I, I am. I, uh, don't <laughs> <soy. laughs> I, I don't drink it. I just deep throat it. <laughs> hey, I, I, Excuse I you guys. Almond. I drink almond milk, not soy. Okay. How you doing that? Almonds don't even have taste. Almond boy. Hey, I have an excuse. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! I think it doesn't. It doesn't taste that bad. Anyways, anyway, oh, 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 wait, 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 uh, Almond milk? It's delicious. How, no, how, do you, how do you milk almonds? Finer print, let them How do you milk almonds? Finer it's print. not almonds and nipples. almonds. How do you milk have soybeans? <laughs> you know that soybeans have nipples. Don't try to break Aspie, go. <laughs> what happened with Andy Worski was I, uh, I posted a joke Are at him. like 12 I years old. <laughs> Jeez, Andy Worski has nipples. Let him fucking to be so that. I'm 21 years old, Uncle. I'm Uncle something, whatever your name is. No, no, I think we we said 21. You're Let the lady the, speak. Those numbers around <laughs> the wrong way. It's not 21. It's definitely. Yeah, yeah, well, Uncle, okay. Uncle. Let the lady speak. All right, all right, Mr. Senile. Right. Take, take your pills. All right, ladies. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> anyway, anyway, I posted I posted a joke to Andy Worski in the DM saying that it, that Andy Worski has become the um uh, TMZ of or skeptic drama, and he did not. Like is this a long story? At that point, no. Or was it a school? Oh my god! What the fuck is this? Uh, Aspie, Aspie, Aspie. Uh, first off, I'd like to point out I did vet him beforehand. He's an adult. He, he is over the age of eighteen. <laughs> that's uh, that's a requirement for this stream. I just have a very high voice. I should have used a voice changer. All right, I'm sure uh, you um, well, yeah, or like reverse helium. I don't know. Um, Aspie, <laughs> Aspie, uh, Schmickle didn't tell you, but we have a two-part verification process for the cut stream, right? So, um, I need you to give me your name, phone number. <laughs> uh, address. Uh, first, uh, I, also, need also, I also need your social security number and your mom's credit card. <laughs> hey, I have a why is why is drama all of a sudden a bad thing? I always thought of drama as something that made the internet interesting. You know, everybody's it's, always like, "Oh fuck I'm drama!" Sure. I'm like, "Hey, it makes it interesting. It makes the internet I'm something." Hold on, hang on. Everyone, shut up. I want to say what y'all yeah. drinking tonight? Yeah. Also, yeah. Jungle, stop being a fucking pineapple for Mr. LM002 for $7.77. Hey, I have hey, no hey, idea hey. what she said beyond drunk or you're a pineapple. Well, you would have heard hey. it if y'all shut the fuck up. Shut hey. up. Hey, you need to be more assertive, Thorn. I am drinking a delicious Starbucks. <laughs> that, I have drank that, so that, much. That's, that's and... the wrong answer. If yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> you, you came onto a fucking cunt stream. And, and you, you walk yeah. in here drinking a fucking Starbucks. Well, dude, you come in, you're coming onto something called the cunt stream and you expect to moderate people? Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, people, do you have a channel? Short. You are hilarious. Do Wait, I so what? He has a fucking channel. It's called fucking no, Drunken, no. Drunken Uncle. I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> about Uncle. starting one, though. You really should, man. You are hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm hoping I'm going to get a channel for Christmas. I hope he has over a thousand <laughs> subs by, by like tomorrow. I should I should be doing it, yeah. <laughs> Wait, so what was what did he what was the thing with if, if, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, if, I'm on Cody. if tomorrow, a drunken uncle, if your channel has more than a thousand subs by uh, I'll even stretch it. If you have more than two thousand subs by tomorrow, uh, the cunt stream did this for you. Yeah, uh, this is evidence right here. Mm -hmm. That's the evidence. Why well, are, are you saying like two thousand total or two thousand gained? 2,000 plus. 2,000 total. Total? Oh, yeah. All right, yeah. yeah. Done. <laughs> He's already back. Hang on. What, what, hang on. what did I just sign up for? Go off. <laughs> you just signed up for, for us taking credit for all for of Betty White. Business. You really should listen to Schmeckle before you no, agree to shit he says. I don't know. Uncle, like such fucking a fucking good bet. bet. <laughs> no takes his backsies, boy. Drunken Uncle is not nearly the man that Betty White needs. He reminds me of a drunk colossal is crazy. <laughs> I actually have you know that uh, before me, Betty White was called Betty Black. I smashed the color <laughs> out of her. <laughs> you know what? For Betty White, I will take your sloppy seconds. <laughs> That's exactly what she said to me. Just, uh, we just need a picture of just two, you sense. two wooing Betty White. Just schmeckle <laughs> with like a fucking crush, okay? And a exploding <laughs> balls for both of them. Uh, you you know what? Oh, with the love that I have for Betty White, <laughs> I would be willing to share her with Drunkle. She's yes, a I mean, Betty White is a pit roast. Really? A devil's threesome? Really? At the same time. You've got love for I get her. the asshole, you get the mouth. I yeah. don't love her. I don't love Who's, her. You see, boys. all I want, I just want to abuse her. We got a problem. Man. We got a problem. Uh, with the I love guys. that woman. Guys, I love that woman on a deep level. Yeah, uh, and you, you can say serenade that, yeah. them. Right, hold on a second. Michael, you, got a you got a problem with the stream. Whoa, 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 the problem that? is that people aren't smashing that motherfucking like button. I want you to smash that fucking like button. Oh, right now. We only got 27 oh, okay. Smash the like button. Like button. If you say it, nobody's going to do it. It's politically. not that the stream is. Anybody but Politipods. Guys, smash that like you just got to smash that like button. Like smash. Schmeckle wants to smash Betty White. Oh, oh, no one did it? Yeah, I, I, I fucking like fucking no, no, smash no, no. that like oh, button. Like, I'm gonna we're ruin the We're 37. Pussy we're 37. We were at 27. Like, with her consent. That's love. All That's all again, I want you all, all to remind ah, Betty White. You're still fucking talking. I love her. You really do. I know no one told
Thirty, thirty-nine. Uh, the, the, the next person to go is. Uh, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll the dice. Uh, we, we got fucking no, no, more than no, six. You don't, you, 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 you don't have to roll the dice. Randomly assign numbers and then. I am for the final prank. I did it. I figured it out. Oh, all right. <laughs> it was supposed to be fine. Roll it again. Knuckle, you're supposed to. Oh shit! Fighter. I, I, yeah, I, 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 I missed. I, I actually didn't mean to boot. Pull it apart there. <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> leave, but hey, happened. We're all gonna deal with it. Yeah, I, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll all cope. I don't even. Oh, was, oh shit! Who was that? Oh no, I see. <laughs> oh, lo- 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 <laughs> he, he, he's the vegan guy. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, you know, Cambodia fucking he's internet. He's the lion. He's the vegan lion. Yeah, how does yeah, the vegan lion? Cambodia. Oh, You're the lion vegan. vegan. Up to you. I would go vegan, but I don't want to do pills. Yeah, my internet's uh, shit. I'm going to bounce off, guys. Thanks for letting me on. Let it, 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 line, it, 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 you don't got to take pills. Go oh, and no, eat gazelle. That's funny. This is like playing Russian. Uh, not every yeah. vegan is a fucking pill popper hunter. Yeah. Just because I, somebody's it's, a vegan, you can't to assume that they're only doing it. Oh, sorry. Uh, you, you... Yeah, there are legitimate sorry, I, I that, that do it for that health reasons. It's they just fine. Be it's healthy. fine. My name's out there. It's no big deal. Just don't say my last name. No, yeah, I, I, can only say I mean, I quit red meat because I just I wanted to make a healthy choice. It, you know, that's it. Yeah, I know. Lots yeah, of I only... do it. he does it for health reasons too. Yeah, I mean, I, I, do, I, I eat I, chicken still. I, I, I eat, eat a lot pork. less red meat too. I want to eat other vegetarian eating chicken and pork. Eating it, like, chicken and pork water? is not fucking veganism or vegetarianism. No, yeah, it, but I'm just saying I made a conscious choice to stop eating red meat. I don't drink soda anymore. Like there's, in my opinion, there's always little things. There's little <laughs> wait, wait, things. Wait, wait, you wait, can wait, wait, wait. Do. Doesn't pork count as red meat? It's just <laughs> no, 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 no. Pork is the other white meat. Yeah, it's yeah, it's considered people. There, that's a big debate. People, some people consider it red meat. Some people consider it a white meat. It's very clearly so white so meat. Would you eat yeah. a black girl's pussy? Knowing that that's dark meat, <laughs> <laughs> I would not eat a black girl's pussy knowing that it's purple. But what if it was Betty White? Well, Betty that is White very, is not very, black. very dark meat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, She's that's, aged that's, that's, very that's well. That's like cured. That's basically beef jerky. <laughs> no, uh, sorry, I, I have seen some very, very attractive black black ladies. Uh, the the, fact that the genitalia ha- happened to be pretty pur- purpley. Uh, that uh, that's not something I like. Yeah, they've all been screwed by the white YouTuber. No, it looks like someone's pussy got fucking suffocated. Why would anyone like a purple pussy? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, the, you the wouldn't mis- like a purple nipple. Who is an actual? No, here. no one uh, has the same that. issue with black dicks. Black dicks are a fucking purple. Yeah. It just oh, a dick that was oh, set why on fire. can't they just be the same color like as that. the body like mine is? <laughs> Take a black dick. <laughs> yeah, that's not true. Actually, uh, in the con- the average the the biggest the the country in the world that has the on average the longest penises is the Democratic Republic of the at seven and a half inches. Dang. And how would you know this? Because uh, he knows the way. Yeah, it's oh, come on. Movie. You've heard his fucking voice. You know in a couple of years he's going to realize that he, he's like the dick all along. Yeah, yeah. He's going to pop out. He's going to dye sudden. his hair pangy. He's going to start wearing fucking it's rainbow like, banners and oh, shit. Oh, hey, guys. I'm going off to the Democratic Republic of the Congo. When he comes back, <laughs> he's going to be like, hey, everyone. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. It's, it's a peacekeeping mission. <laughs> It's oh, I really enjoyed that. Oh, my trip oh, that's what the they call it now. That was great. No. <laughs> I'm protecting all the women from the long cock. <laughs> protected them all from getting stabbed. So, yeah, I mean, so you're I, going, I, I, going there to white knight for them. You know, like soda. Like I, 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 I'm. I don't know why people drink so much soda. Still, that's one thing I'm kind of confused about. Cause it tastes good. I mean. I guess our juice tastes good and tea, t- you know, there's other things other than soda. My juice tastes good as well. Lemonade. Yeah, so no, that's uh, one thing. I, it's I, so I, bad I, uh, for you. Fuck, soda is so bad. I didn't realize how bad it was until I really stopped drinking it. Hold on, hold yeah, on. Yeah, I, I need to step away for a second. I, I'm going to leave Drunkle in charge, but uh, we, we've come across the, 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 the turn of the hour. 
Oh, God. Uh, uh, so I am going to remind you all. Uh, send all of your nudes to Samaj Z. That's no. at underscore Samaj Z <laughs> underscore. You don't. Oh, God. Uh, all when, of your when nudes. He says I, that. I don't care if you're male, female, fat, uh, very fat. Yeah. All uh, of them. As long as you're over the age of 18, send your all nudes to of at them. underscore Samaj Z underscore. Uh, he loves it. He's, he's Even if you've got hips like that fucking budgie perch. Or if you you're from the Congo. I don't care if your pussy looks like a uh, fucking roast beef and you've got two assholes and you haven't eaten in three months and you're on a bunch of mat. <laughs> that isn't the way. Send that is your new way to at underscore Samaj Z Especially if you're like. That is not the way. That is not the way. you're like all front butt. Like all front butt. I heard my name. What, what, what's Hold going on? That. I'll be right back. Uh, <laughs> <drunk> <laughs> <old>. <laughs> no version of the poppin' fresh man. Oh boy. And what was his name? I mean, Renegade, you, know, you would agree with that, right? That uh, soda is pretty unhealthy. I mean, it's not a bad thing to drink. Mm. Who, who, me? Yep. You can drink well, soda. I mean, just don't drink Coca-Cola. Don't drink Coca-Cola. No, y'all, you can clean your toilet with Coca-Cola. That's just nasty. Yeah, yeah you can clean pretty much anything with gasoline. What's your point? <laughs> 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 would you drink gasoline? No, but I clear a crime scene with bleach. <laughs> <laughs> you can clear drink a coke too. It cleans, yeah, it cleans up blood too. Coke. I'm all about those Tide Pods. <laughs> oh my! I really can't believe people are really eating the Tide Pods. I wonder if that's uh, a troll. Neither can I. I mean, if they're, no, if they're no, trolling no, people, it's a no trolling thing. Yeah, yeah, for publicity, <laughs> it has to be. Speaking it tastes good with garlic salt. Um, just FYI. Never underestimate stupid because stupid will always, always outdo your underestimate. I'm a Darwinian. Good, I believe right? somebody eats Tide Pods, they deserve exactly what's coming to them. Hey, did you see I'm a Darwinian, yeah. and looking at your avatar, you should not exist. <laughs> <laughs> did y'all yeah, see the salt true, challenge? True. That was my favorite. That was that was being done by a bunch of people. They put pretty a bunch of salt, salt in challenge. Arm. What the hell is that? Uh, putting a bunch of salt in your arm and then seeing how long you can keep an ice cube on top of it. Oh no! Oh my god! You do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually because ice becomes a lot colder with salt. Yeah, no, well, obviously. That is such That's a That's how you make ice cream. That's how you make ice cream, homemade ice cream. Jesus! I well, mean... no, yeah. Oh no, yeah. That was um actually perfected by the Egyptians, I believe, adding salt to uh, ice to make it colder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's a uh, you can well, use for ice cream and stuff. That's Fun it. fact: yeah, yeah, the yeah, word yeah, salary yeah, came from salt because the Romans paid their. No, um, uh, gelato is a lot better than ice cream. Just to let you know. Yeah, but nothing is better than frozen. Well, uh, can, can you put more of a a hunter? Can you? Uh, sorry, uh, fuck. Aspie. Aspie. Uh, can, can, uh, sorry, I, I'm just reading the... Like Get his pronouns uh, right, motherfucker. Come on. Uh, can you uh, please say what you just said uh, about gelato, uh, but in more of a San Francisco accent? Hmm. Just to let you know, <laughs> gelato is a lot better than I... Cream. That's the best I can do. He said. He said San Francisco, not gay as fuck. Uh, like not to be fair, by San Francisco, I meant gay as fuck. Well, that's like ten pounds of fag in a two-pound bag. So, can I? Can I? Can I give that same challenge a go? <laughs> yeah, of can course. I give it a go? No, you ready? Yeah. Um. <laughs> so I just want to say, gelato is way better than ice cream. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Mr. Uh, LM002 uh, for $2 has said, uh, has asked, rather, hey! uh, how much for Opal and Drunkel in the same string? Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, LM002, you gave us $2. I will have Samaj send her the link immediately. But oh you'll God. have to give us much, much more <laughs> money afterward. <laughs> five minutes, uh, $5 Bye. for every time she makes me cringe. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be, uh, so back to the Tide Pods, tomorrow. is there actually anybody confirmed or is it just Yes, a story? there's videos. It, it, uh, there, there are uh, pe people been doing this. Teenagers, mostly teenagers, young girls. They're, they've been, Not it, just teenagers, though. Some flat. of these people are over the uh, age of 18. These are the same kids who did the Blue Whale yeah, Challenge. I'm oh looking this up. Pod. These are the same kids who did the Blue Whale Challenge. That so Russian is it called the Tide uh, Pod Challenge? Since <laughs> um, well, you mentioned it, um, oh, oh, Blue Whale. 
Oh, hell blue well. You know, when you say, oh, hell blue well. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Actually, no. Fuck the blue whale. I it's can't like, Fuck the blue like, whale. I do not <laughs> accept the fucking control that the blue whale has over AP and Ghastly. Oh. It is unacceptable. The two of them should be able to be their own fucking people. Fuck the blue Michael whale for what he tangled. has done to them. I mean, I was actually on it a minute ago, and it was just ghastly. Exactly. The blue whale is not even <laughs> including AP in the fucking project anymore. Fuck the blue whale. I, I spit know. on it. Hash hashtag fuck the blue whale. <laughs> and then... Yeah, it seems like this uh, this Tide Pod challenge thing. I mean, it's making national headlines. I'm looking at some of these articles. Yeah, it's crazy. I actually had um, Oreo have bought out their own flavors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I first heard about it from a shit poster who was in a chat I'm in. With, he um, uh, posted like this weird like a Tide Pod meme with like this woman with the Tide Pods his, his boobs and a yeah weird. The fuck oh. is wrong with these people? Jesus. Welcome to the internet. Dude. Well, like I type in <laughs> five pod city, challenge yeah. and five. There are nine eleven memes. Results. <laughs> you think that was disgusting, right? We had destroyed Dick December. That was the biggest uh, fucking <laughs> health and safety problem. <laughs> <laughs> no nut November. No nut November followed by destroyed Dick December. <laughs> you guys all remember uh, a couple of years back, uh, Tide was really worried about uh, kids eating eating these fucking pods. Yeah, the children. Which like, is legitimate. Or like fucking old. Well, one to what five they should have been worried thing. about was the pods of pedophiles and children eating those. You know, we were focused no, yeah, on the you wrong definitely thing. can't eat those. I mean, you ever seen a bottle of Fabuloso? Oh, I could, I could see a small child mistaking that for juice. You know yeah, what? If I eyes, didn't you can know what Tide anything, Pod, can you? <laughs> if I didn't know a Tide Pod was not candy, uh, I might pick one up. And uh, as an adult, it would take me a couple seconds to realize. Oh yeah, no, this is this is fucking plastic. It oh is, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Put it in your mouth. It would take you a, a moment to say, "Hey, my mouth is full of bleach." Well, yeah, that's sure it. Would take, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, the but... plastic uh, the plastic feel should be an automatic dead giveaway. <laughs> but also the fact they're in a fucking Tide Pod case. <laughs> it doesn't well, taste like it's orange. It's... <laughs> like, it's in a thing that says Tide on it. Like, <laughs> how do you mistake that? Like, you go up to it and you're like, oh, this is candy. It says Tide How about oh, when you when day, you took one day. out of the Mexican box and it said, candy. do not eat? That would have been good. <laughs> Actually no, but as a, as adults, as adults, uh, there's there's no excuse. Uh, even as uh, fucking 15, 16 year olds, uh, there's no fucking excuse. You can read, hopefully. Yep. Other, other, workout, otherwise, uh, I'm not too the... sad about uh, your death. Yeah. Well, and also, yeah, I'm <laughs> but, uh, I mean, who's coming up with uh, challenges? Sick people. But no, uh, uh, fucking oh, drunkle oh, had a very good point. Uh, you stick that thing in your mouth. Even if you're dumb enough to, to, to throw the thing in your mouth, you bite down on it, and you feel your mouth fill up with chemicals. At that point, you should be done. That's how my first girlfriend met me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, on them workout shoes, they actually have a little sign on the bottom that says, do not eat the like red silicon and sili silicon, and I'm like... Oh, so like the blue silicon's all right, is it? Just not the red? <laughs> yes. Yeah, you can eat the blue, no red. Kind of like the wires. All right, so I, I got a pack of matches here, and it doesn't actually say on here not to, not to eat it. I think you. Can it it, those it are says edible. both the uh, the words yeah. no name and keep out of yeah. the reach of children. Yeah, you won't. So get I, I, I get guess match. these these are acceptable, right? Yeah, you can eat a match and you won't get sick. I've well, also, uh, by the uh, same I would token, probably, but got you, a road flare here. Uh, and my road flare does not say, do not light and stick up your asshole. <laughs> 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 this does not, not say, idea. do not apply to nose. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> specific. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> well, and the, now the question will be: Is is this a good press or bad press for Tide? I who knows. If my uh, 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 this, this is this is excellent, this yeah. is excellent press for Tide. I Although think I do because like now now people 
will uh, will continue to buy Tide because of the meme for a little while. And then afterwards, it won't really hurt Tide's sales because regular people are smart enough to yeah. keep those away from the people who are yeah. usually Tide in danger. Tide has made laundry day a lot easier for me. Wait, how and on that on, note, dude. I'm gonna it's buy it. It's not like battle. laundry's that hard without pods in your way. Yeah, no, really. Yeah. Right, yeah, you can't measure laundry detergent. This is I like mean, a test. <laughs> <laughs> eh, I'm autistic. It takes me a while to learn certain simple Whoa, things. Whoa, it takes a while to measure shit. Really? No, 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 ne never mind that. Tide pods are very uh, convenient. I, I'm. I, I can measure shit. I'm just lazy as fuck. Me too. I can. I just. I just prefer the Tide pods. You just throw yeah, like exactly. one or two in, and there. And you, you don't have to. You don't have to get out all the massive bottles of the stuff. You. But it, it's you very know? easy. You put it on a shelf about seven feet up, so that your average five foot tall person. You can, know, just using regular it. detergent is just as easy as well. Yeah, I heard that though. You actually don't even get that much of a volume. Uh, you know, it actually is less volume, so you're spending more for less volume. Mm -hmm. uh, well, probably, well, but you, you also get the convenience. Well, it, it saves me also, like 20 right, seconds. All right, to go off the <laughs> previous <laughs> one, vegan seconds. argument, you're also releasing a lot more fucking chemicals into the uh, into the water stream. <clears throat> don't give a fuck about that. Speckle drinks beer. Uh, you don't I care. Think I do. <laughs> uh, th this is not from my tap. I eat uh, fish, bro. Yeah, those poor fish. <laughs> so do I, I but I don't eat fish from where I live. Well, no, no. I always go out to a club outside of town before I pull her. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 hey, yeah. All right, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head out. Have yeah, a good I night. Off, hey, man. Well. Have a good one. Hey, hey, nice it was good having you, Aspie. Oh, it was finer who said that. Finer, and ni <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, your voices are yep. very confusing when your faces that, don't pop no, up. That's just not <laughs> Catch uh, you later, guys. You're all the same to me. All right, see ya. Um, see ya, drunk uncle. Is, that's, yeah, no, yeah drunk uh, nice uncle. one, Hunter. Get a lower voice next time. <laughs> oh, oh, I will get a lower voice. See ya, drunk. Hey, there you go. You're on see, If you had done that the whole time, we, we'd have been good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to learn how to do this. Hey. Uh -huh. Good stream, guys. Take it easy. <laughs> yeah, great. Nice meeting you, man. Nice uh, to meet you. Thanks for coming on, Drunk. Take care. God, he, that know, guy is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, he's hilarious. I've, I've never heard that guy. Is... <laughs> I mean, he literally is uh, like a drunk colossal. It's crazy. Uh, now, uh, with, uh, with Drunkle and uh, whoever the fuck else just left, uh, I'm, I'm going to send... Uh, Oh, uh, before I send something else, I, uh, uh, an invite to someone else, I just got a uh, suit yourself saying uh, something for you to review. And he, uh, he has a link to some, some stream. Uh, I will say this. I was <clears throat> the first one to call Drunkle a fucking pineapple, so I am owning that shit. <laughs> <laughs> From what I understand, you're the you're the first for a lot of things. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Hey, you're um, a lot of people's first super chat, the, their first sponsor. Yes. Uh, their their first fucking uh, subscriber in some cases. First yep. comment. Uh, you, you, <laughs> the first comment. You, you're you're very good at uh, beating people to the punch. <laughs> yeah. First stalker. <laughs> Stop DMing me. <laughs> No, you're uh, you're actually our uh, our first uh, uh, sponsor. I actually threw might as well. No, I'm, I'm not actually. I th I threw you for a loop for about what a good two hours. Like, wait, sponsor? What's that? Oh, there's a nice donation. Yes, oh, ten dollars. That. How much? What is the standard for you getting? Uh, uh, there we go. Um, one from P. Tar, a, a priest and a rabbi get on a plane. Wait, the priest says, we should fuck him. And the rabbi says, out of what? <laughs> <laughs> that is good. <laughs> I, 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 I'm familiar with the classic one. A priest, a rabbi, and a black guy are all sitting on a plane. The plane's going down, and there's one parachute in the back, and they all run to the back. And the, um, uh, and the um, rabbi says, we need to help the children. And the black guy goes, fuck the children. And the priest goes, uh, are you sure we have time? 
<laughs> that is good. That, that's, that's a good a- one, actually. That is. That's good. I love jokes like that, but oh no, they're not politically correct. Well, whatever. Um, Fuck them. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull up this uh, this fucking thing. Uh, uh, I don't I don't have my my good laptop, so I don't have voice meter, and we don't have a fucking failure here at the moment. So uh, you're you're gonna have to. Uh, you're gonna have to bear with me here, but uh, apparently Suit says uh, this is something to review. So, Suit, uh, get your uh, raggedy, let's take a listen. Get your raggedy out back ass in here. Yeah, I wonder how long it is before Twitter has an edit button. I'm here with JF. What's up, buddy? Suit, come Hello, in here. I can't wait to see you tomorrow and tickle. You. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Jesus Christ. Canadian internet at its fun. And then you're going to come back here. And uh, yeah, that's. Brilliant. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Hey, it yeah. might take some and, time and to load you, this, okay, uh, this simple. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Damn you, FCC. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's the maple syrup internet. That's their best internet ever. SJW government at work. Yeah, th- this is our I'm internet when it's working. Play. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's when you know your internet's bad. I've never seen yeah, that. Yeah, it, it apparently came up. Be <laughs> uh, are you kidding? I get that all the fucking time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn, that sucks, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the, the the internet here is is not good. It's why Michael. I usually try to get failure on here to run that shit. Oh man, uh, it's Michael. It's Michael. Canada, the land of slow internet, Eskimos, and poonting. I mean poutine, poutine. No, 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 no. Hey, no. Uh, we get plenty of poontang. It's just uh, they they, they got to grow the hair to keep it warm, and it's it's, it's not good. No, you are. Yeah. Canada you gotta use a treasure map in order to find your way around, you know, blow in the seam. Hey, Smeckle, I want to ask you, did you hear about that maple syrup heist that you guys had several years back? Maple syrup Yeah, look heist. it up. No. It will blow your fucking mind. They robbed, I think, $12 million worth of maple syrup. It was 30. Oh, that's... Oh, 30? Okay. Yeah, it was $30 million. Also it's, known as the most Canadian Jesus. crime that's ever been committed. It's crazy. You got to look into it, Smeckle. It'll blow your mind. That, like, they left the a note apologizing. Did, the, way, the way these guys did it was genius. Oh, yeah. yeah. They, that, they, anyway, that crime is so can- no, I'll, I'll be back in about five minutes. Uh, yeah. Aspie's in charge. Oh great! Anyway, the um uh, that crime is so Canadian. I think it should have a um. Uh, it, I'm surprised they didn't leave a note saying sorry for robbing your um uh, store right after um uh, right at the front door. Anyway, so uh, hey, shut that dog up. No, I'm you joking. don't be mean to my dog. Oh, I like I'm sorry, I'm being almost me- everyone here. No, yeah. I like her better than everyone here. You should try a. You think her dog's bad? You should see the the mo- the dog my mom decided to get after our um, Schnauzer died. Oh, I thought or you wait, were our- saying you, your mom is the dog. No, no, yeah, that's I'm when- sorry, bro. Just joking. <laughs> that wouldn't work out. That would not work out. So yeah, yeah but that's anyway. crazy. I mean, thirty million dollars of maple syrup, like, and these guys almost got away with it. It's, I mean, and also. Who the fuck do you sell maple syrup to? Anybody, I suppose. I, I, I mean, I guess a, they, they were making money. There is a market for everything. I guess. I mean, I guess it's like some high-quality maple syrup. I mean, I mean some oh, fucking... Oh, God. Hi, Opal. Hi, Thor. I haven't talked to you in a while. Hi guys. Yeah, you, you can, uh, there's a black market for anything. J- have you ever heard of the deep web? There's a black market for everything. <laughs> Someone's selling maple syrup on the deep web. Jesus, who brought this hunter in? <laughs> it's like deep web and maple syrup. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on that hunter. I'm gonna go to the deep web and buy me some maple syrup. <laughs> I need to download Tor so I can get some maple syrup. What? what why are, <laughs> hi, Chambers. Why are people talking about 
syrup. Why? No, because like I was telling him Opal about the ma- there was a major heist, and I guess it was thirty million dollars worth of maple syrup stolen in Canada. That's that's the most that's, Canadian that's story the- I've ever heard. Yeah, and it's a real story. It's crazy. Now, Opal, Opal, that's tell crazy. one about heroin, and we'll have the most Mexican story ever. heard. Guys, check the second link in the uh, in the sidebar. Oh, Let me a... take a look. <clears throat> Samaj, do do your thing and pull that up. Oh, oh it's by HuffPo, so it's probably not real. Anyway, I'm joking. This uh, it's the best I can get. You, you know, yeah, I don't know. You probably. I watched a wrong. documentary on Avis Crayo. <laughs> seven. Yeah, this is just crazy. <laughs> now, Aspie, uh, I realized. Uh, uh, or noticed rather uh, when uh, Andy Worski responded to you. Uh, he, 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 he got a little heated. Me? Um, I, I didn't really, I, I know you apparently made up with him on, uh, I, I, prostate. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't catch any of that. What was the, uh, how'd he, uh, explain that away? Well, what happened was the, um, I need to tell you the whole story. He, um, uh, pretty much, um, I told a sto- I told a joke, which basically said that, TM- Andy Worski has become the TMZ of skeptic drama, and some people thought it was a funny joke, others didn't. But he especially didn't find it a funny joke. Frankly, I didn't know this. When he wakes up in the morning before he eats breakfast, he's really grumpy, basically. So he woke up, and he was just not in a good mood. And he um, uh, and, he, and the day before, he had said that he's not going to take – that he's had it with people, you know, tell, telling him all this stuff, you know, oh, you're just doing it for the views, all this – crap that he's been going through so i'm uh all this crap people's been telling him and then the next day he gets my joke and he just goes off on me now you know because after all of that he i was the person who sent him over the edge and i was so surprised by what he said to me you know he didn't just that at the very end he insulted my channel which i don't really mind i know my channel sucks but whatever and um uh, so on and so forth and he said and i am uh in response to his dms i am uh Made a video on OBS responding to his DMs, and uh, uh, that uh, I, I, I got to cut you off there just to read a comment. <coughs> Hikira in the chat says, "Fuck this dude's voice," and uh, I got to say, <sighs> it, you're in a bad situation where I'm speaking on the stream and they're criticizing your voice. And <laughs> uh, okay, I'll um. Uh, Opal is I'm- here, and people are saying bad things about your voice. Yeah, Fuck. I'll just sing everything and it won't be bad. Oh yeah. shit. I can sing. Oh Damn. my god. The king wow, that was really thing. good. Yeah, I I actually I actually was once in a uh, I've been I'm I'm a college student. I'm actually study voice. I was actually once in a metal band, a power metal band for a very short amount of time. I did not sound metal. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, uh Aspie, uh record us a fucking cunt stream song. And we will we will have you on here frequently yeah. if, if you can sing like that and and make a fucking song for us. I don't know what the song would be, what the lyrics for the song would be. I just don't know what the main um uh, of the uh, song. Say welcome to the country stream. Oh yeah. If I could make it a, a suggestion, you should make it a love song about Schmeckle and Betty White. <laughs> <laughs> if if it, with, with your voice. And my, my my emotions for for Betty White, uh, I'm sure I'm sure we can get her in my bed. <laughs> I can no, we'll, we'll, we'll do it as a duo. I'll send you the video. Dark, uh, that way you can get something out of it. Dark, no. I, I can imagine it could start off going something like, uh, "Hey girl, you got the wings of the angel." Oh, Dangling from your arms. Hey, girl, <laughs> you got the wings of an angel dangling from your arms. <laughs> Fuck. Damn. There we go. I'm just going to sing this guy some shitty fucking love song for Betty White. And he's going to do amazing. Uh, yeah. you, you make him do a parody of Thank You, Be My Friend. You know what's actually funny? I actually, with Free Kick Aston Press, I did that song, Our Traps Gay. Oh, cool. How did this song go? Yeah, I did a... I, it, it went like this. She can make certain men question whether they're bi. She confuses your dick because her gender's a lie. And she only reveals what she wants you to see. 
She may have the D, but she's always a woman to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh that's God. how the song. It was hilarious. And it was so hilarious. You, you go to Free Kekistan Press. Just look up. Just go scroll down through his videos and find "Our Traps Gay." That's me singing. Oh, it was okay. a parody. Of, it was a parody of Billy Joel's um, uh, "You're Gosh. Still a Woman to Me." Get off of me! Oh, oh. Oh. I don't want to get yeah, off of you. Give me uh, I definitely need you. I definitely need you working on a fucking cunt stream song. I'll hook you up with the guy who does my music. All right. Um, Speckle, I got to go, too. Uh, wh whoever sang that, uh, uh, I think it was... Uh, was Thorn. That was, that was Thorn. Oh, I got a no, super chat directed I'm sorry. Me. Like I said, you all sound the same to me. Yeah, Thorn How the fuck do I sound the same uh, as Opal? She says, well, no, no, Opal's an exception. <laughs> She's uh, an adult. Do you want to tell everyone who you are bef before you leave? All right, Wait, yeah. I just got here. Uh, I'm leaving. Opal, pay attention. Hey, it's Thor, not Opal. <laughs> Jesus but, Christ. But why are you leaving? I just got here. Do you not like me? No, I'm well, following Nobody this. likes you. I do like you. You never fucking DM me either. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> She's like true. Uh, <laughs> uh, my name is Thorn, Thorn Midnight or Mrs. Midnight. You can find me um, on the YouTubes and on the Twitter. And I make horror narrations, and occasionally I'm thinking of making some stupid videos too. I also stream randomly at midnight. Be quicker! Okay. I have a super chat to read, and it's about to disappear. All right, <gasps> fine, bye. No, I love you. Bye. Uh, Mr. LM002. Uh, in contrast to my nobody likes you opal uh statement uh from a, a couple seconds ago says uh we love you opal also don't worry about finding a guy who will be submissive in bed with you they exist you'll find one in time only i know asian, i would be only asian men are submissive to me what <laughs> only asian men <laughs> yeah why, it's really weird why am i not surprised yeah it's really weird what the fuck what the fuck japan <laughs> I wonder if that's true if they have small uh, genitalia. No. Anecdotally, it's been true. Uh, well, <laughs> statistically, uh, as well. I remember. Uh, uh, I think it was well, it has to do with them the, with their use with body heat because some uh, Asians lived up in an area which was very cold at one point in history, so they had to um uh, well now they so that it was a way to retain body heat. That's why their nostrils look the way they do. That's why their eyes are squinted because of the um uh, to put to protect against the beaming light that'd be reflecting against the glacier ice, you know. Things along those lines, the snow ice, so... You adapt to your environment. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. What, Hashtag... What, what you're saying is that... <laughs> Wait for evolution. Evolution. So what you're saying is if I, if I lived in a warmer climate, i get a bigger dick. Um, no. In a way. Okay. I don't in think that's how it works. Maybe your great-great-grandchildren... Maybe, maybe. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. uh, there, there are some Asian countries that are, the, that are quite warm. Yep. India, yeah. I mean, there's lots of countries. Isn't the Vietnamese, Thailand, like, super Laos, Laos Cambodia. Uh, the Philippines, which uh, I know aren't Asian, but they look like Asians, so I'm going to count they're, them. Aren't they like the Mexicans of Asians? Uh, yes, simple. because they're yes. because they got a bunch of Spanish blood in them. Yeah, because the Spaniards would just sleep with everybody. <laughs> right. You're right, point. everybody. I'm joking, Dave. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, Hakira, no, no, they sometimes technically married them. I mean, they could. Uh, uh, everybody, right. shut the fuck up. I'm um, complimenting somebody in our chat. Uh, Hakira <gasps> just earned his or her wrench because he pointed out very accurately that Aspie sounds like Mandark from Dexter's Lab. Can, 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 can you go the, can you do the, the last can you do it can you do it do it, do it. <laughs> please ask fuck god damn it opal Samurai Jack. Yeah, it, it, it's it's really weird having opal in here and having people complain about someone else's voice yeah 
I, I don't mind her voice annoying. So, I'm awesome. by the way, does I'm anybody recognize? Does anybody recognize this song? I'm waiting in my cold cell when the bell yes, yeah. begins to chime. But 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 can you do the long sustained note there? Running low. Wow, that's running pretty good. low. Oh, yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, he's good, honey. You're good, man. <laughs> what are you doing in college, man? You should be really putting that voice to work. No, no, no. You should not be doing any of that. What you should be doing is devoting your voice to the gun stream. From now on, you are the official <laughs> stream vocalist. Uh, you have no say in the matter. You have uh, you have been recruited. He's a throat boy. Get, get, get him while he's hot. You should have ran while you were, had the chance. Or no, I'm, I'm in dead to this son of a bitch. You need no, but, to get well, well, Look at it this way. Aspie, I'm going to hook you up with a musician who is uh, uh, every bit as talented as you. Uh, just, uh, What's his name? I, I don't know his actual name. Uh, on YouTube, he's, he goes by uh, Gameplay Metal. Uh, he does all the music for me. He's a multi-instrumentalist. Uh, uh, the two of you should uh, should definitely work together on uh, on a Kunstream song, and then multiple Kunstream songs, then some Schmeckle songs, and then maybe go and do your own thing. <laughs> once I'm done milking. Yeah, once you're done ringing him for all these words. <laughs> You should use him and then use all of his words and then throw him away when he's used up. Exactly. I'm gonna use use you like Hollywood uses every fucking child star. What's that? Like a like a three door ham? Except for the rape. Except for the rape. Use his throat uh, like how a long should I wait before I have my mental break? How long should I wait before I have my mental breakdown? A year? Uh, at least fifteen. Well, I mean, years. you voted for Obama, so. I Oh. No, I didn't. I voted for the Trump. For the Trump? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't want Hillary in. Yeah, it was... A, it was no, a, see, uh, no, I'm going to be completely honest. I, I did not vote for Trump. You're Canadian. Uh, I don't You're mind. Canadian. I don't care. I can see why you didn't want to. You're, you wouldn't want to. I mean... You're Canadian. I mean, it wasn't exactly a good choice. I mean, you had a choice between um, uh, AIDS or uh, HIV. That was pretty I, much... I've, a, I've, I've seen... Uh, I, I, uh, I'm going to be honest. A, HIV is more I, I manageable. Didn't even, I didn't even vote in that election. Yeah. You're Canadian. I've seen Trump speak in person. He was very... Uh, I, I'm, Awesome. I mean, the news depicts him in a bad light because it, it was very enjoyable. Uh, we, we just got uh, $7 from Mr. LM002. He says, Why well, complain about Opal's voice? She sounds so adorable, and every time I hear her voice, I can't help but say, Ah. You realize how hard it is to try to pay bills with this voice? <laughs> to pay bills? <laughs> yeah, I, I had to go to the doctors for something today, and they would not take me seriously. They kept looking for my parents. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like, does your mother have the insurance card? I'm like, I uh, no, I, I'm paying for this. Yeah, you're it. like, uh, no, um, I, I'm my own person. Oh, it's okay. Yes, you are, sweetie. You are your own person. But where's like, your you, mom and you, dad? Are you sure you can pay for this doctor's appointment? Like, yes, and use the insurance card. It's like, oh, is Almost. that your little brother? <laughs> no, 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 exactly. I'm 21. Uh, I'm sorry. Everybody Me shut too. the fuck up about Opal. She's not the important one here tonight. Uh, Zell right. Strike has a very good a little bit of advice for you, Aspie. He says, uh, just warn Aspie not to make videos teaching underage girls how to twerk for him. Oh, if you're going to go into a musical career, uh, that that's very good advice. Don't do not do that. Yeah, don't. Don't, uh, don't, worry, I <laughs> don't worry. I respect women. Just, just uh, even care. if you uh, you can respect women and still love when they shake their fucking asses. Look, we're the just, same just age. Oh, I respect kids it. Do it. I, I, <laughs> I, I don't. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, don't you worry. You better I'm not respect gay. the queen. You better respect the queen. <laughs> I, You're really I bad at clicks. The queen. You're very bad. <laughs> we're both twenty-one. Oh my god, let's go get drunk and do twenty-one-year-old things. Well, I the only the one night that I um my on ironically on my twenty first birthday wait, 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 I went are, to are, are 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 both of you the same age? Opal and Aspie. Twenty one. Yes. 
Uh, may, may, uh, maybe when I was 21, I, I sounded like that. Uh, maybe when we were all 21, we sounded like that. Maybe we just... I don't not. smoke. Well, here's the thing. Maybe every, 21, maybe every 21 year old sounds thing. like I study child. voice, and it turns out the um, uh, the female voice um, uh, matures a lot faster than the male voice. Like, females, that's why you see 15-year-olds on the voice, because the their voices mature a lot faster than men's. Men's, a, a, singer's, a male singer's voice doesn't really mature. A tenor's voice doesn't mature until like he's like 29 or 30 or something yeah but uh, i ask me why can you sing uh with, with with like man sounds but speak with with boy sounds well it's, it's a weird thing because when i am uh when i talk i always talk with a very high pitched voice all my life my whole family's loud so in order to be loud i i kept ta singing in a high pitched voice but when i sing it all goes away some reason I don't understand it. Yeah, but uh, I guess my um. No, I mean my my voice is all fucked up because I did a bunch of coke. Uh, yeah. Uh, why why is your adult voice uh so so? Uh, I think it's just uh, because of my uh. I mean, I could t I could say give many reasons why it's probably I would probably was just born that way. I I guess I could say I developed that way or. Something. I mean, I could go into a little bit more detail, but I, but I really don't want to. I uh, oh, uh, it's the fucking constraint. Will we demand yeah. the detail? Well, you I'll show your vocal, fine. vocal. We want like tears. You want? Fine. I'll, I'll be honest with you. One testicle smaller than the other. Oh well, there it is. That's actually okay. Quite Everybody has drop. that issue. Right. How much smaller is the question? That's actually quite common. <laughs> oh, that is. Yeah, yeah oh, I'm I, pretty sure everybody has a uh, one. I one am. <laughs> one testicle, a little. I mean, they can't be exactly the same size. It's quite you common. Know? Yeah, it's hey, more common than you think. Trackle, do you want to know uh, some really hilarious karma? Sure. A fairy called the Fantastic has collided with a ship called the Brown. What? <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Really? Yes. Yes. Is this some kind of code? No. <laughs> uh, please, please explain. <laughs> this happened in Morocco. Does it explain everything? Um, <laughs> I still don't go. I don't know what's going on. The fairy called Fantastic of the company Grand. Oh, I'll just say it. NV, NGV. Good From evening, suit yourself. Hi, suit yourself. Hey. Is hey. it morning where you're at? No, it's afternoon. Uh, no, afternoon. Oh. Good afternoon. Aren't you like... He's 12 hours directly well, from Eastern Standard Time. I have no concept of time. Where exactly Excellent. do you live? Uh, I, I, I really got to piss. The uh, suit's in charge. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> All right. Good evening, suit, Good evening, suit hey, yourself. Hey, I don't hey, think we've hey. ever met. No, I'm haven't. the incredible ass. My, I'm the incredible Aspie. It's nice to meet you. I'm the incredible ass <laughs> That's what yeah. I was. Bend down, get your ass yeah. beat. No yeah, I'm uh, this Anyway, this gets even funnier. <laughs> okay. So you're gonna get your ass beat. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Oh, you mean beat, not bead. Beat. Yeah. Beat. Um, we'll go back to the story. So a fairy like a boat. Yes, a fairy called the Fantastic hit the ship called the Vi the Viking Star or the Brown Viking as it's commonly conferred to. No injuries, but there was a stain in the a in the aft part of the ship the <laughs> ass, a major hole. <laughs> okay, I'm putting my immature brain on and it's kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the bow of the oh fantastic god, it's pierced, so great. Yes, it, it pierced the the brown. <laughs> oh, so that was that is some karma right there. 
I hope they didn't you know, rush I or tell, anything. Can I tell you something? Um, uh, you know, you ever watch old like all those old Disney movies like um, Cinderella, Snow White, and all that stuff? Well, when you actually read where those stories came from, like the Grimm's fairy tales, they are nothing like the Disney movie. I think that's oh. where the um, term Disney something, did the Disney something up came from because Grimm's fairy tales are some of those brutal things you could ever read in your life. Like oh, in the movie. So good though. Yeah, they are. They are oh. great. They're very satisfying. Yeah. Cinderella one was great. Yeah, I mm. honestly, they're, they're, I mean, amazing. I actually have thoroughly enjoyed them. I'm not much into graphic novels. Yeah, the, um, the original Sleeping Beauty, she was raped in her sleep. Damn. <laughs> Man, I that's like intense. creepy things. You like creepy things? That's good. Good for you. Yeah. yeah. But there's liking a line of creepy thing is not the same as liking rape, Opal. I don't or like Betty rape. White. Except when it's ma'am. I don't I don't rape I don't sexually harass anybody. I just wait for them to consent. Opal, Opal, <laughs> Opal, A P. What about A P? I don't like him. He's annoying. No. And green. Yeah, you, you you don't like well yeah, he's green. Oh. He's a little gross, a little green. He's slimy. <laughs> Blimey! Yeah. So, uh, suit, 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 suit. Uh, you're, you're the, you're the fucking important person here. Uh, you, you're the one that can, can bring some order to this garbage. Are you sure about that? No, yeah, he's Australian. He's, he's clearly important. Oh, he's Australian. I thought he was Scottish for some reason. Oh, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ! Jesus, I, man, it says it right on his YouTube. Maybe, maybe I'm you so should sorry. work on your accents. Maybe that's something you're not the best at. <laughs> By the way, how how far are you from Bering? <laughs> yeah, no, uh, across the fucking apparently huge country. <laughs> I mean, it is an island. You're bound to you're bound to wind up. No, it's a continent. Australia is not an island. It's a continent. No, it's an island. Yeah, uh, well, it, a, a continent is just a really to, big island. Yeah, to uh, to a giant, it would um be an, an island. There you go. Technically, Technically uh, Opal, yeah. are you a giant? Correct. No, I'm the uh, opposite of a then giant. Then you were wrong. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, people. The thing about Australia is that I don't know if I would want to live there because the wildlife there, almost everything there, is trying to kill you. Yeah. Literally, quite literally. Hell yeah, that sounds awesome to me. Exciting. Mm. I live no, in a deep city. Why, and there's a lot of shit. How Steve Irwin lived as long as he did is beyond me. How Steve know. Irwin lived as long yourself. as he did is beyond me. Suit okay. yourself who lives in a much yes. more hardcore portion of Australia than Steve Irwin ever did. <laughs> suit yourself goes to work every day. He, he walks because Australians don't use cars. Uh, those are for pussies. He walks barefoot. Don't you? And he beats up fucking <laughs> stingrays, uh, uh, scorpions uh, of the uh, the giant variety. Uh, fucking overly large spiders. Uh, one time, he punched a kangaroo in the face. It looked at him dead in the eye and said, "Is that all you got?" And it <laughs> punched him back. Uh, but then he he just snapped his neck like it was nothing. He's a stone yeah. cold, Wait, cold I, blooded I, bastard. I thought Australians uh, surf to work every day. Uh, 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 part of Australia is apparently a desert. I like how we were talking about suit, and he's barely talked. <laughs> Talking about can't get a word in edgewise. Yeah, exactly. Everybody be quiet. Yeah. No, you just Opal mentioned <laughs> AP the Frog and being moist. Hey, I, yeah, and hey, I just suit, thought, well, hey, suit yourself. Opal, I don't want to. Um, AP, he's self lubricating. Yeah. He needs to get a rape people. <laughs> yeah. Hey, suit yourself. I don't mean to make this slightly awkward, but I liked your video that you did with him undoomed on Omnipolitics 16. Ugh. But who's <laughs> had the better video. voice? Yeah. Um, well, what was it? Suit yourself you like or Omni? That? Did you like Omni? Uh, Omnipolitics. Ugh. That guy is just a. That guy. I can't even think of it. Well, I think. Uh, I know you he and I try to fuck you. Ugh. <laughs> Don't remind me, please. Anyway, <laughs> the, uh, the 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 part uh, the part of the video crap. I completely forgot what I was going to talk about. Anyway, uh, suit yourself. Uh, what what what? You, since you live, what part of do you live? Like on the eastern side? Get it out! Side? Come on. You can do it. Uh, I, I think what he's trying there. to ask is where the fuck you live, suit. What's your address? Uh, well, what's your social security number? He wants to rape you. He wants to rape you. What's your blood type? 
All I heard was, I love your video stick, but I can't remember what the fuck it was about. <laughs> I mean, I'm honest. I've never, I, I, I've actually I never heard of you. I'm subbing to you politics. right now. You seem like you got good content. Um, what's your blood Well, type? I saw your, um... Oh, boy, how tall are you? I, I, Five I'm feet just... tall. How many? How big? How Five tall? feet tall. Ah, oh, you're... God, you're you know, she comes that. about halfway to, to suit's cock. And just perfect on the knees. I'm not that short. Uh, opal, opal, opal. Uh, huh? Damn it. Uh, everybody's seen you at this point. We all know you're you're short as shit. You're a little on the, the thick side. Uh, you're, you're brown as fuck. You got hair curlier than oh, mine. Seen her. And uh, well, well, then opal, opal. We got fucking suit yourself here. Be polite. No, no, Turn I your fucking mean, camera. No, I have opal. I have, opal. Um, That's I have, opal. No, no. Opal. No means no. Opal. No. Opal. It's no. probably a dude using some voice modulator. What? No. Uh, that, that's that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking <laughs> the chick in the past. Oh, it was just uh, she. Uh, he had a chick available at the time. He, he pulled her out of the fucking dungeon, yeah. pushed her in front of a fucking no, camera, and I said, am. "Hey, then you're me. <laughs> hey, bitch, take this photo." <laughs> no, I just. Hey. I'm not wearing makeup, and I have pigtails on. Why are girls so obsessed with fucking makeup? Nobody gives a fuck. Yeah, I mean, guys, yeah, let's, it's where the 21st fucking century. Guys don't give a prove fuck that anymore. you exist. <laughs> prove you're not just a fucking made up fucking chick you like Vamp. Me. You yourself, you just grunted, and you're like, dude, speak for yourself. <laughs> you see me. Like so many All right, people. now uh, one second before Opal pulls okay, the camera the, on um, uh, to prove that she exists. Uh, Mr. LM002 would like to say, <laughs> if I lived in Australia, I'd have to carry a 12 gauge shotgun Two. everywhere I went. Bird shot for Answer the spiders the and snakes. Zero, zero fucking slugs for everything else. Follow me on Twitter, suit. I'm suit yourself Opal, trying to Opal, Opal, Opal. Show your goddamn. I was trying face. to. No, we're Dude, you're lying. hilarious, bro. That was good. I was listening. I'll do it. Just put in the side chat suit if you can. Uh, well, I'll do uh, go ahead, I... suit. I, I, I'm gonna. I'll just suit. went for the um, mm -hmm. incredible mm -hmm. anal thing. Yeah, he, he wants you, suit. He wants you to spread your cheeks for him. Yes, <laughs> yes. The incredible anal bead. My answer to your question is regional Queensland. Kind of. Um, so that's kind of Easter. Dang it. He Again, lives he's... in the fucking boonies. Queen. All right, let me let you that up. You, you live... It's, uh, it's Northeast uh, Australia. That's... Uh, suit. Oh, there uh, other, it is. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but other than where uh, where Rory lives... Don't go swimming. Uh, you, you, you guys are basically the hicks of the country. Rory's probably closer to Bering. Well, yeah, sure. Rory, uh, I know, lives right where all the... Uh, all, all the bogans live. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you live like right on the fucking outskirts of civilization, right? Yeah, capping, capping with the Aboriginals doing walkabout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and fun fact about Queensland is they have um, the world's largest squirrel living in that region. Uh, it, the actual species, I forget the name of it. Oh, it's, it's I mean, it's break. huge. No, no, but there really is. It's. I was watching a documentary. Well, the other day. I was like, that's I an nice thing. How long was I muted? I, I was having an entire conversation. Hey, you've been muted for about an hour. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, North North Australia. That's where all the box jellyfish are on the coast. Yep. Oh, I, uh, have those, yeah. I am. I Suit eats pregnant. fucking um, box jellyfish. Uh, box jellyfish. jellyfish on you, every you put them on the end of your knob, and it desensitizes you, and you last a lot longer. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to. He wants to rub jellyfish on you. We, and we only when they get... wrap around, it's actually you know it's ribbed for her pleasure. Oh God, no, no. We only get friendly little jellyfish that feel like fake boobs and contacts here. <laughs> You just pick them up. Yeah, the moist. yeah moon jellyfish is what they're called. You just <laughs> moist, yeah, very get, moist. <laughs> we get a lot of sea and sharks and dolphins. Moist. Okay. Stay away from dolphins, guys. Are jellyfish yeah. really soon? Or a jellyfish a big issue out there? I've always heard that's the case, but I don't know if that's a rumor. Uh, well, no, one second. Uh, the, the bitching witch in the chat says, 
everything that wants to kill you lives in Australia. Uh, like out uh, of the all, pitching, like nine... which, uh, that's that's not true. Zeph uh, lives in America, and I'm sure he'd <laughs> like to see all of us dead. America. Most people know not to go America. to the um the beaches during certain seasons. Yeah, it's a seasonal thing, like toxic yeah, algae. Yeah, other tourists so. Yeah, I think it's like during the summertime is when the um uh, box jellyfish are blooming and they come out and they are um, swimming around the near the near the coast because they're breeding. So yeah. Uh, do you go out to watch it? Oh no! I hey, don't... you know uh, I would love to see what jellyfish sex looks like. <laughs> they, they don't have brains. Which... <laughs> they reproduce it's quite transparent. <laughs> 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 Zell Strike has asked uh, an interesting question. Uh, oh, what's your take on the Jeremy slash uh, the quartering pedo shit going down? Oh, I talked uh, to him in the DMs. We're so happy. It's awesome. Uh, uh, I, I don't know anything about uh, this. I'll be right back. Uh, I know there was uh, apparently pedos in the, the magic. Yeah, they theater. solved it today. They issued a statement. Wizards came forward and said they were going to implement a program to finally have stores, their staff, and all judges uh, get background checks. It's, I mean, it's okay. victory. It's what we wanted. I mean, no, I mean it, it seems reasonable for a thing that's. This is something that's very concerning I mean, to me, and it actually, it's, it's something a lot of people aren't paying attention to. There is groups yeah. of people on line right now that are against this, and that is scary because it's really showing you uh, who is pro. And I'm sorry to say, it, pro pedophilia. Because how could you well, not yeah. be for yeah. background checks? No, uh, I, I, children. No, I've seen this type of shit. Uh, I haven't paid a whole lot of attention to uh, this situation. Uh, well, what they, happened uh, was is this is pretty much the gist of it: is Jeremy got banned from Magic for, and it was false allegation of harassment. He didn't harass anybody. He, he said some mean oh, shit about yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, just a bunch of looks. shit. Yeah, just I even yeah. met the I met the girl that he supposedly harassed, and she, in my personal opinion, is just one of those typical oh type of girls. You know, doesn't give a fuck, and it's all about her, her. So it was a lie. Now, what happened was, is he says, hey, I'm going to get dirt on Watsy. And, and he was honest about it. I want to expose people at Watsy for being hypocrites, which is Watsy's Wizards of the Coast. Well, what happened was, is a concerned dad sent him an email saying, hey, I simply asked for back if they do background checks and the answers they were giving me were concerning. So you can kind of tell where it went from there. He ended up looking at the judge list and over 12 of them were confirmed and charged pedophiles. One of which, uh, I think two of which were shop owners, one that was recording uh, people in the bathroom. I mean, so this shit, and the problem was, is that it's not like Watsy didn't know. So Wizards of the Coast knew because they were informed multiple times. And it came to a point where they had no choice but to accept it. Like they, cause it got bad. I mean, how many more people are going to come forward? So I'm glad it's over with, but like I told Jeremy, in the DMS, uh, you still have to keep them accountable because you know how it goes. They'll announce a policy with any company and then they'll think, Oh, people are not looking anymore. We'll go back to business as usual. To be, to be absolutely fair. I mean, Hasbro was put between a rock and the hard place. You you could either one, uh, address the pedophile situation and deal with it, or to deal with Andy coming to your offices and shooting up the place. I mean, yeah. it, no, 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 that, that, that's <laughs> not a fucking rock in a hard place at all. Yeah, uh, yeah at the point where you have a bunch of pedophiles, you accept the fact that Adam uh, fucking War Path Warski is coming to uh, coming your way. <laughs> you accept the fact that it's going to happen. You, you smile about the fact that it's going to happen because even though you're going to get shot down by Adam's fucking war path. Yeah, I mean, he's doing a celebration it, All the right pedophiles now, are going to get shot too. So wait, I'm just oh, glad that, it's resolved. Is it, wait, is Adam doing a stream right now? Is that why we only have 100 people watching? Oh, no, I... Uh, um, Unsleeved media, so Jeremy's doing a stream. It's a celebration stream, so it's a lot of crowd uh, cross platform. So you know, I don't blame a lot of people wanting to go over there and claim victory. I mean, it was a group effort. Oh, that okay, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, everybody. I mean, this is a, a win for everybody. You don't have to be a magic player to understand what was going on. That's the truth. Like, uh, 
I mean, the way I see it is I don't I only play magic once in a blue moon every couple of years I go and play. But when I was a kid, it could have been me. It could have been anybody that, you know, because Pokemon Pokemon has this program to have judges get backgrounds. Magic never has. That's the problem. And even worse, the store owners don't have background checks. And so they're around kids and Hasbro has known about this for oh, quite a while. It's not new news to them. So I'm just glad it's over with. Uh, and from going forward, we shouldn't have any more issues. Well, no, I mean, uh, we won't have any more issues uh, as far as uh, like Wizard of, uh, Wizards of the Coast and that fucking company goes. Uh, you're still going to run into the issue with uh, people who own these types of shops, uh, uh, comic book stores, uh, yeah. the hobby shops, shit like that, uh, things that mainly cater to kids. Yeah, they that said that if you're a shop owner person. and if you if you want to sell Wizards of the Coast product and you can't pass a background, a background check, you cannot get it. You can't host it. Yeah, and uh, all, all that... All that really does is keep fucking magic cards out of the fucking shops, and uh, most kids don't like most kids nowadays don't give a fuck. Yeah, about magic yeah. cards, right? Well, I uh, mean, well, I mean, it's the most popular card game in the world. Ten million players play every Friday night. So I, I, I'm sure it's the most uh, popular card game in the world, but that's still not a, a huge platform uh, as far as the the younger generation goes, right? Oh, no, I agree with you. It's just uh, even one kid is too much. That's the way I see it. Uh, the, uh, this should uh, be taken as like a build-up towards people who work in uh, uh, first uh, uh, other uh, just basic hobby shop shit like that. Uh, they should be subject to uh, to background checks if I they're going to be working with children. Oh, hell uh, yeah. You're right. Uh, if your main consumer base is going to be children. Yep. Uh, then yeah, you should be subject to a background check. Yeah, well, I mean, I'm for freedom, of freedom of association stuff. But when you commit such heinous crimes like that, you don't get that freedom. Why don't we take them to a firing squad? Yeah. No, I mean, and it's something that a lot of people complain about. But a background check, it's not a very invasive thing. No, no, uh, that's what Jeremy criminal record. Yeah, what was uh, your fucking employment record? What was weird like is that. that Jeremy was posting on his Twitter, uh, people, uh, you know, messaging him and stuff saying, oh, this is invasive. And that's where I go back. That's why now what is emerging is these anti-background check people. And it's disturbing to me because the only conclusion I can come to is that you're pro-pedophilia. That's it. I mean, there's no other conclusion because a background check is not invasive in any form. You have these well, people no, who believe that exactly I'm... Uh, yeah, I believe that I'm. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm, uh, that, I'm sorry. I I don't yeah, know when to just start uh, talking. Uh, I'll, I'll go first. Uh, <laughs> All right, sure. Go. Sorry, Schmeckel. If you uh, if you apply to a fucking factory, you get a criminal record check. Uh, if you get a proper background check, it's that. Plus uh, employment history, uh, maybe a little, uh, a little bit of financial history. Yeah. Over here in Australia, we have to actually go and get a blue card, which allows us to work with children. Well, in children's school or whatever, you need that check. Yes, well, uh, that's like exactly that. what you should have. Yeah, I like that suit yourself. I really do, and uh, I would actually encourage you suit yourself if you can do me a favor. And uh, message Jeremy and just say, hey, listen, give him some information on uh, that. I don't even know I think, who the fuck Jeremy is. Oh, uh, well, he's, uh, he's uh, it called Unsleeved Media. Send it to me, suit. Oh, yeah, yeah, because, oh, because he's just trying at this point. Do the blue card stuff. Yeah, we, because we at this point. And that might. Yeah, because at this Sorry. point, you know, it's about the rest of the world because. You, there's only so much you can do for North America and outside of North America. There's so many different agencies. So yeah. it's disturbing to me that how, how not how long it took, but how many people are mm. just against it there. It's crazy that there's more people against the background checks than for them. I mean, that's weird to me. Yeah, no, you, you should you be required to have a background check if 
first off, to, you're um, going to be working directly with children, like a uh, daycare, uh, education, yeah. any any of that shit. But if your main consumer base is children, like if you're a comic book shop or uh, a fucking toy store, uh, yeah, uh, there <laughs> there should be fucking background checks. I agree. I think in the future, we're here in the United States, especially, we're going to have to start I'm taking things like that into consideration. It. Yeah, like Australia is taking measures. It sounds like. I mean, and that's what we. Oh, it's been around for years. How long has it been? How long, to yourself, or have you guys been doing oh, that? Fuck, over ten years. E easy. Wow. I mean, I don't know how we don't have that here, but where, and I don't mean to say this, but uh, here in the United States, for some reason, we got people like Meryl Streep uh, praising, you know, pedophiles at, at award shows. So it's not surprising why it's taken us so long. Yeah, there's like massive, like I heard in Hollywood, you know, I, this might be a little tinfoil hattish, but there I've heard a lot of like stories of like pedophile rings of like top of fish, top people in Hollywood, like even like sheriffs and stuff know about it, you know, and this stuff has been known. I mean, Sargon of Akkad did a whole video on it and it was, and it kind yeah. of kind of disturbed me because he showed all these pictures that this woman had drawn of like all this some um, uh, sexual abuse of kids and it was just making my stomach churn it yeah me i mean these are things that you know it's 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 all about information and you take the information and you run with it the best you can and at the conclusion you come to that uh elitists here in the united states are pedophiles then you're probably right i mean there are you can't really sit there and go oh here's ex you know damning proof but the conclusion you come to, yeah, they're you don't want another pizza gate. You don't, you don't want another pizza gate. Well, and here's what I'm going to say this and people can say I'm wrong. I believe pizza great was a semi distraction from the overall uh, issue of pedophilia. They made a fake issue to blow it up. And so people would go, Oh, that's fake. I believe that because so it they, so that was, I believe it was a, it was a form of a psyop, and I and I'm being honest because it made no sense to me why people were making it out to be a pizza shop. You know, it just the evidence didn't add up. When I looked into it, I'm like, okay, the evidence isn't adding up. Why are people coming to this conclusion? All right, uh, I'm I'm gonna be right back. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do something a little unusual because uh, uh, you, you, puke? You, you guys are all talking about your own shit. Uh, vamp candy's in charge uh she's in the chat uh, uh obey whatever she says i never get oh, okay but uh yeah uh, sue yourself i mean you guys have had this for over 10 years was there a particular uh, yeah, reason you guys uh implemented it was there like a, a nail in the coffin or just some a policy that i don't know when it was implemented it's just it was there if we have to work with kids you have to get I, a blue card. Yeah, well, that's that's good. I'm I'm definitely gonna at least. I hear uh, a humming coming from somebody. Sorry, I have chips. <laughs> no, um, hey guys, I'm gonna call it night. I'll catch y'all later. All right, man. Can hey, I, nice talking to you, man. Yeah, yeah, nice. Good chat. Good chat. It was yeah, nice good. to meet you. I might have to go in a little while too because my dad's taking me to work in the morning and I have to um take a shower and go to bed. Yeah, oh, don't forget. Yeah, you gotta you polish those anal beads. You dumb. <laughs> dumb, dumb, dumb. Yeah, and that's the thing to yourself is like a, a, do you have a do you think there's a particular reason why the states have not implemented something like that do you have a view on that uh it's just stupid you haven't yeah i mean i i don't understand it myself i you know because i figured uh shops that dealt with children i was shocked when i heard that they didn't do background checks i thought okay if you can't be in school zones why would you allowed be allowed to be at shops where kids are going to be? It, it's just ridiculous. It's kind of insulting to the intelligence in a way. <laughs> like, I'm just, it makes me feel like I'm stupid. So, I mean, it's, it's going to be interesting because if they're going to, they're doing it for sure. And a lot of people are saying they're against it and it's exposing the, those people. I'm um, just, Totally off topic. Magog and I are about to drop our collab. Oh, interesting. Well, like I said, I, I haven't heard of you before, so I subbed, so I'm looking forward to that. I enjoy Magog. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Magog. Although Magog in one of, in his last video, um, uh, in his Christmas video, he called me the Great Aspie rather than the Incredible Aspie. <laughs> Magog that, that, that's really insulting. Exists. That is <laughs> entirely insulting. Do you want to yeah. give us a sneak uh, sneak peek of the topic? Or are you gonna? 
suit? Are you going to, uh, uh, is there a particular topic you guys are going to do? Flat Earth. No way. Shut up. Yes. That? <laughs> Flat Earth, people. <laughs> That's oh going to be funny. Oh, my God. That is going to be hard to watch. Hey, I'm Schmeckle. I got to go. Schmeckle, I got to go because I got to go to work with my dad in the morning. But I'm uh, give me uh, to. Before you go, before you go, you know that one Enya song? The one that, uh, that everyone uses. Hmm, which one? I don't know. Uh, uh, only Time, I think it's called. Only Time. I, I'll look it up. I'm, I, my, I, I've heard the name. I know the name, but I don't know. The... Uh, look it up quickly. Uh, I, I know after the first couple bars, you'll, you'll know exactly what song it is. Uh, I want you to sing that for the audience. Only, only one? Uh, only what? Time, uh, I think. Jesus. Only um, time. Is it? No, I'm, oh, is I'm, it? Pr I'm pretty sure th that's what it's called. It's like uh, they're one big song that everyone uses for oh, wait, sad wait, wait, wait. Is it? Oh, oh, is it that one? Who can say where the road goes? Where the day flows on the inside. Is that? Is that one? That that's the one. Jeez, oh, I can't Jesus. believe it. He said voice is a gold. It's crazy. La, da, 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 and then you go back to your regular voice you sound like a little bitch <laughs> I know. your regular voice is terrible but your singing voice is perfect oh. my regular voice sounds like I should be sucking dick <laughs> it does you sound exactly like Prince of Queens wait what yeah <laughs> I'm talking about actions that lead to making kids oh yeah super chat two dollars from Mr. L M002 uh, how's the tot, Opal? Oh, he, he's fine in physical therapy today. He made him exercise for an hour, and he, his little legs turned into jelly, so he just laid on the floor. He, I don't think he likes to exercise. Anyway, Schmeckle, hook me up with that musician. No, I, I hook will me up definitely. With that send me a DM to remind me, because it's 1 a.m. my time, so I'm not going to remember in the morning. All but right. Remind me, and I'll, I'll hook I'll, you up. I'll, I'll send you a I'll send you a DM in the morning. All right. Bye hey, bye nice everybody. You, it's man. nice meet. It's Goodbye. nice meeting you all too. Bye bye. Goodbye. Nice to meet Catch you. you, you good to meet you. All right. Good to meet you too. Bye. Oh, he was nice. So um, with this magic thing. Yeah. Well, and that's too nice? early for me to say um jokes about tapping cards. Oh well, I mean that's the thing. It's it's just. It's just a card game, and and that's the weird thing about it. So Pokemon, I get Pokemon. I guess I didn't know this. They've had uh, background checks for years on judges and staff, but for some reason Hasbro, which owns Wizards of the Coast, this is weird. This was weird to me. They had it's so like, Pokemon owned by the fucking Japanese company. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, figured but it out they, before Hasbro owned yeah, by the. But, uh, but here's the where American it comes company. off, Smackles, where it gets I guess very weird. means something different over here. Yeah, <laughs> here's where it got. Here's where it got weird. Is that instead of Wizards ha using their own company to do judges, they had another company they created another company and said it wasn't theirs for the judge. <laughs> when the initial issue came up, they said we don't control that company. We don't have any. They are the ones that implement their own policies. And so it was very weird that they really distanced themselves, but they were the ones that owned the company. It's so weird to me, and I'm just glad it got resolved. But, I mean, they were forced into a corner. A corner. They had no choice. So, it, it I mean, it, it's going to get worse, though, because I, I don't think um, – I think Jeremy's done for now. But I think more people have gotten on board to where they're going to still keep looking up people's names because there's thousands of judges. It's not like just a couple hundred judges. There's thousands. Now, uh, uh, Hakira has uh, a very good point. I mean, uh, first, uh, Hakira has uh, actually never mind. I misread that. Hakira has a terrible point. Uh, it seems like a brain dead choice to background check judges for events involving children. Just my opinion. In my opinion, uh, I fear that's probably sarcastic, but uh, I read that much differently. 
<laughs> well, that's the thing. It's like you'd figure it's obvious, like suit yourself said. It, you just have these type of systems built to protect children. For some reason here in the United States, uh, we don't. I don't understand why this is. I mean, I think this is going to be starting to become a hot-butted issue coming in the next couple of years. Um, because, I mean, you're seeing it every single day uh, with sexual assaults and children abductions. It's It's only getting worse. Thanks. I mean, so, well, I'm hoping I'm hoping it doesn't. I mean, obviously, but I mean, I'm looking at where the path's leading, and that's where it seems to be going. Check the, the side chat, the link, bluecard.queensland.gov.au. Okay. okay, thank you. I mean, I'm going to send this to him. Yeah, because I just that's the next step is I would imagine making sure the international judges are – thoroughly background check so i'm gonna send this to him right now and then i'm gonna at you so if, you know nice so ideas if it's helpful great yeah i mean that's the way i see it is that hey you know every little bit of information it, it helps i i heard about it and i i haven't played in a couple of years but i was like hey anything i can do to help and i didn't do anything other than hey spread the word locally in my local area make a uh, talk to my local game shops and asked them and they said hey if we have ever suspected anybody we just kicked them out that's er the answer i got every time um i would assume that's what most people do but i guess there's a group of people in the united states that are trying to protect these judges so i'm um, yeah I'm, I'm sending this to them right now glad to help Well, yeah, because this is, that's the thing. It's like, of all the scandals, you know, the drama that happens on YouTube, I, it was weird to me that this didn't get more traction. I would have expected, like, Philip DeFranco to pick this up. Like, but no major outlets other than, like, Breitbart and a couple other, you know, places picked it up, which was weird to me considering it's the number one card game in the world. Um, Millions of people play it. So it's not like just a couple thousand. We're talking about millions of people play it. And there's tournaments all over the world. So I just it's, don't know. I, I don't want to say there's a cover-up, but, I mean, I have no other conclusion. Clicks, clicks yeah. and money. I mean, you look at King's stuff. I can, there's a few things I've sent to him about the pedo rings, and he just replies he's not interested in the DMs. He's more interested about fucking Paul Logan or Logan Paul that come. Because it's clicks, okay. Oh, it's oh, 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 one, one second. Uh, Kira would like to clear up that uh, by brain dead, he meant uh, she. Uh, uh, I really can't tell from some of these fucking names. Uh, they meant uh, by brain dead, I meant doesn't require thought. Should be obvious. We both drunk, so mistranslation. Yeah. Bomb Hollywood. <laughs> well, and that's the thing, uh, Suit, is that I can understand Daniel, you know, Keem, you know, his reason for saying no, because he does dr uh, YouTube drama shit. It would, it would weird me out if you sent that to a major news outlet, like the stuff you're talking about, and they ignored it. And that's what happened with Jeremy. He sent this stuff oh, to... I sent it to um, Philip and stuff as well. Philly wow. Team. Yeah. Well, and that's what uh, Jeremy did as well. I, it's weird to me how people like DeFranco, who quote unquote is a supposed news outlet, which I mean, all respect to the guy, but he's no better than Keemstar. He does a similar stuff. Mm -hmm. He doesn't, when he does real news stuff, it's mostly repackaged garbage. Like, I'm sorry, like most of the stuff he yeah. talks about, it's not to me, not pertinent information. Mm hmm. Like, you know, uh, pedophiles uh, is more important than fucking anything Donald Trump's doing. I'm sorry. And when you're... I agree. You, yeah, I don't understand. Like, it's like every fucking other day with Philip DeFranco, it's something to do with Donald Trump or it's like the shithole scandal thing. And then, uh, you know, it's all a big uproar. And then you fucking find out he didn't actually say that. But how many people are actually reporting that he didn't say that? Uh, nobody. <laughs> I mean, it's so we live in this fucking age where we uh, we listen to the headlines and then when it's corrected, no, oh, people go, oh, it's fake news, it's corrected. Well, no, we they got it wrong. <laughs> I mean, so many people are just, it's a like first one to the story, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's and what, you're, yeah, exactly. You're right. It's clicks and money, and it's it's pathetic because 
like Jeremy says, he's not making money off of this. Um, he, he has no ads on his videos. He can't make any money. Yeah, he has a Patreon, but it's he's got a regular job. You know, he stumbled upon this. He says so many times on his channel, uh, it's he did not ask for this, but he has to do it because no one else is doing it. It's not like people from the magic community were like out, you know, going, oh, this is bullshit. Actually, in hindsight, people in the magic community were more against it because they were complicit. You know, they didn't care. They knew what was going on. It's it's disgusting. I, I just don't know what the hell's happened to the society we live in, uh, not just here in the United States, but in most of the Western countries, we focus more on bullshit drama than actual issues that are affecting the society as a whole. The I mean, internet pedophilia. happened, and and then mobile phones got the internet to everybody. I That's was talking. Happened. Yep, I was talking about that earlier, suit. I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, it's amazing. Uh, if you, I was talking to a guy. Um, I was debating a guy from the alt right, but somehow I got to the topic of um, just morals and stuff. And he said, since uh, two thousand one, five hundred churches have closed in London. Now he wasn't wrong. And then my rebuttal to that was like, yes, and it is linked to cell phones and the rise of uh, the tech industry. And I said, I guarantee you, if you take a chart from two thousand one to the current state of the churches closing and then a chart of social media advances, you would see a direct chart, one going up and one going down, you know, and it would X. I think, um, I think I saw that post and I believe the point to that post was the amount of churches shutting down versus mosques coming up. And being no. Built. Yeah. Yeah. But we were taught, but in the, in the comment section, we were made, I was making the point that there's probably more to it than just that. You know, we were, I was adding on to, cause we were just debating back and forth, but it's interesting to me because if you do the, look at the studies, people that have faith, they live longer, uh, they are happier, mother? you know, they're, they're happier. And I'm not saying I'm not a big old, I, I am a Christian, but I'm not pushing my faith on anybody, but I mean, English. it's interesting, you know, Speak it's the Christians. It's, well, no, but it's interesting to me. It's interesting to me that, you know, we've gone towards a selfish society. Hey, suit. Chambers. Yeah. Chambers, God is watching you. <laughs> Chambers, Chambers, God has been watching you this entire night, and he, he's seen some of the things you did. And uh, I mean, he, you've seen the hair. I, I have a bit of a connection. Uh, he, he's told me some of the things you've done tonight. Oh, and that's not you need more of a clockwise. Type of rhythm. Are you comparing yourself to Jesus? Yes, yes, no, you know. Par partially, but also I was uh, criticizing her masturbation tactics. What the fuck? What's oh, that yeah. work right? <laughs> How do you oh, not do it right? As long as you finish. Well, oh that's um, the problem. Recently, you didn't on, on the topic of masturbation, recently, if anyone's interested, Milo Stewart has put out a video uh, saying that he cannot orgasm. I saw you know, that. I, saw, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's unfortunate. And she went to the doctor, and the doctor's first choice or things to say was, "Get off tea." Hmm. I don't. Interesting. Are you wait? Are you talking about tea, or is it <laughs> yeah. like the the drugs for the testosterone? That's why testosterone. That makes a lot uh, more no, sense. No, no, we we got ten dollars for midnight in exile, and he's shilling himself, and I. A part of me wants to not read it because he's showing himself, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to read it because uh, because of what the, the topic of the video is about. Uh, he says, just uploaded a video on the liberal epidemic of child exploitation. Please watch and get the liberal word out about this. They will silence it if they can. Sorry for the shill, but this is pretty important. Uh, if, if this video is up there, go and check out Midnight in Exile. Uh, I, I'm not vouching for him. I've never seen any of his shit. But uh, if, if it's about this topic, uh, go check it out. Also, who who the fuck is echoing? Not me. I've well, had I have no idea. I have earphones. Yeah. Somebody's echoing. I'm wearing I'm wearing headphones, Not and I, I I can hear I my my own voice. And Echo. It, it, ended, it ended as soon as I as soon as I asked. I don't. And now, I, I don't hear an echo. I don't hear an echo spackle. Right, see, Maybe yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna try this. All right, now my echo. 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 It, 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 it was legit. I don't hear. No, it, it was not it legit. Was 
Yeah, it I was, was about to say. It, it, it can't be me. I can't be echoing through my through my fucking headphones. Echo. No one else hears the echo. Are you okay? Yeah, I really don't hear an echo, man. Did you overdo it on the whatever it is you do? No, uh, I, I figured it out. My other headphone got really loud. I'm hearing it from that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How drunk uh, uh, <laughs> this one didn't make any sound before today. <laughs> oh, you have a short. Okay. Popo's voice is made of pink stuffed animals. Hmm. <laughs> Opal's voice is made of pink. No, Opal's voice is is made of what happens w when you turn down meth. Uh, w when you turn down meth and heroin and all of the shit that uh, y y your countrymen are offering you. I am. I I'd like to hear Opal on helium. Oh my god! I've, I've never smoked before, and I I haven't had alcohol. Um, and I've oh, never shit. done a drug, so maybe this is just what voices are supposed to sound like? No. <laughs> Opal, you have a child and you've never done a drug? I, uh, I've never done I drugs drug either. I took up a drill. That shit was nice. You fucked a Satanist. Yeah. God knows what you've and done. And you've never done a drug. <laughs> yeah, that was not the smartest. <laughs> yeah, I did that so <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. Hi. That, that was my only mistake. <laughs> 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 Jesus. Yeah, there, there, there's not a fucking chance in the world, Opal. You've never done a fucking drug. Not only are you a Mexican, oh. and you know they're not sending the good people. What the uh, but you are. You also uh, made a fucking child, possibly the Antichrist, uh, with a fucking <laughs> Satanist skinhead. He's not. He's not. He's not. A, he's not the Antichrist. He's Possibly. just a little different. Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> no, his name actually was supposed to be Damien, but he's not the go. Antichrist. He's just Bruce. a little different. He's just a little different. <laughs> <laughs> so is Stalin. <laughs> he's just a little different, guys. Come on, it's not. His eyes glow red. <laughs> I actually need to record him talking to his shadow. Oh my god, he's talking to his shadow. He talks to his shadow. Like an evil Peter Pan. He, um, yeah, he talks to uh, the, the worst part is he doesn't walk up and just say hi. He <laughs> says hi. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay, maybe I'll do that. <laughs> really? Did she do that? Oh, that bitch deserves it. He actually oh maybe talks in his sleep. Oh my god, that's, that's so of, scary. And, um, <laughs> he, can't, he can't close his eyes because he has a, a little bit because he's a little different. He can't, he can't close his eyes, so his eyes roll up in the back of his head. Why the sleep. fuck can your kid not close his eyes? What? Oh, she is. She's trolling. She's got to be lying no, at this no, point. Actually, Does your son have gills? <laughs> <laughs> Does he have little horns? Oh, can God. can your son you breathe you? underwater? <laughs> so you're like, what did you breathe? <laughs> no, um, it's just because he was born um. He's, you know, he's a little okay, different, man. so his eyes are born not fully then, developed. Is... Okay, right, so I'll, I'll be right it. back. Fuck, fucking Opal's in charge. Uh, actually, Opal's child's in <laughs> How, charge. Where are you going? What are you doing? Like, running a drug house? You gotta <laughs> run like little sacks and be able to door? Oh my god. I got a customer. I got a customer. Opal, for you. Yeah, got a customer. <laughs> no, um. Be back. No, yeah. <laughs> Like every every like five or five to ten minutes, he's got to go. You, you just you guys know he was born def with slight deformations and he's <laughs> disabled, so he just you know he's a little now different. he's dis now he's now he's disabled. Jesus. He's always been disabled. <laughs> Levitation isn't a disability. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so stupid. <laughs> No, it's just a yeah. He's starting to kiss shadows and talking to sleep, and his eyes are completely white right now. It's kind oh of scary. My God. Wait, completely white? Because yeah. his eyes roll in the back of his head because he can't close his eyes all the way. What the fuck? Because he was also born preemie, so his eyes are a little underdeveloped and stuff. Oh my. What? I've never heard of anyone being able to roll their eyes in the back of their head. That just sounds creepy. Yeah, it's a. It's really scary, especially when they roll back in place and he's still asleep. So, oh my God. and he's not moving. So sometimes I have a heart attack. Oh, oh my I, just, God. I just have to remember to make sure he's still breathing. 
Oh my god, I don't, I don't envy you, I'm sorry. Yeah. That does not sound health, uh, like good at all. Yeah, no, he was also born yeah. with um, extra bones in his hands and legs and feet. And he was born Jesus. with six fingers. Yeah, he, um, he had six fingers and six toes when he you're was born. You're trolling it now, you're trolling. <laughs> now you're trolling. <laughs> he was supposed to be born on 6616. <laughs> but he was born premature. Well, see, it's hard to tell, you know, with girl, girls, sometimes it's different for guys, but girls control a lot easier than guys can. I will admit that. Like, it, girls. Oh, I, oh, I wish man. I was trolling. It would have oh, been like, bull, a lot of. Oh, bull, bull. You send me a, you send a, on the stream right now a picture of six toes. No, 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 no. Uh, I think since we have suit here, Opal, oh, mm -hmm. and suit is very important. He, he's Australian. How did you uh, know drug deal guy? He, 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 I, I was not selling drugs. I was just doing drugs. Uh, you are. That's what you do. You got customers every five minutes. <laughs> if, I was getting five, if I was getting customers every five minutes, uh, I, I would not be living in this fucking place. No. Well, you, know, this shit shit hole. Hole. Well, you gotta live closer to the clientele. That's right. You gotta be at the level. You gotta no, be one I, of them. Guess, you gotta yeah, be you, 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 gotta, you gotta live in a shithole to, to to get the proper clientele. Yeah. Well, that's what Trump says. Um, you don't you don't have Twitter, legit logic. Yeah, I do. It's legit boss gamer. Oh, okay. Legit boss gamer. Yeah, but uh, the Opal. Uh, since we have suit here, and he he's very uh, important uh, Australian, uh, deep voiced. Uh, I, I think no. you should you should show him your real voice. Yeah, your your fucking uh, bill pay, bill paying voice. Hello there. I'd like to open up an account with your firm. Yes. Mm. Can you get your mother for me? <laughs> <laughs> no. You realize how hard it is. Like I um I had a guy come over to fix our washing. I've machine. heard you off air. This is not your real goddamn voice. This is my voice, bro. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. I am. Um, the troll is just, strong in this one. I'm not a troll, honestly. My life is just sad enough. No, oh, yeah. You see, you, the most interesting woman there, in the world. There's no denying that. I'm. No, I, I, I've seen your cooking. Yeah, I'm not good uh, at stuff. You need to follow me back so I can uh, message you. Okay. And um, like we could um make a group chat. That way, Chambers can also believe me about my kid being. <laughs> Yeah, your, kid, your kid scares me. No, mm. I, I, her, her kid is legitimately uh, a cripple. Uh, I know that. He is. Well, disabled. I mean, there's nothing. It's that the the eye <laughs> thing is a little. Yeah, is the a eye little, thing um, He has a, a weird chromosome mutilation syndrome that they've never seen before. So mm. he's missing some paragraphs in the book of human DNA. Oh. Okay, so, this uh, is getting like her, really her kid's deep. Behind and, like, by a couple chapters. Yeah, this is getting like real deep. <laughs> no, Opal, Opal, Opal. I, I know, I know, yeah, I know. One time you, you got very offended. Uh, AP came on here. He kept calling <gasps> your kid retarded. I don't like that word to describe no, I, my I'm child. No, I'm not a big fan of it either. Yeah, that that's. Like I'll say it once in a while. It's a joking thing, but I don't give a flying fuck about the word like, retard. Not so well, no, I know, <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, Sue. Like sometimes it's not appropriate. Like you to, got a retarded to, kid. You got a retarded kid. No, uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I don't think it's so bad either. Uh, I, I think it's more of a. No, he's just saying it's pissed me know. off, so it's annoying. No, uh, I mean, uh, I, I, I don't have a retarded kid, right? So. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I wanted to offend Apple, I could say, "Oh, look at your own gene pool." Yay! Jeez. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. There. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, Zell Strike in, in the <laughs> chat says, "Uh, her kid's different." Does he have a fucking X gene? Uh, yeah, that motherfucker has claws. <laughs> you should yeah. see, you should see what his fucking mama's pussy looks like. He what left X look? all the way out. She's got claws no. too. Dude, he was born premature. It was no, no. Oh well, yeah, was was he a C-section baby? No, he was. Three no, someone pounds. went in and pulled he him just... out. No, pounds. he he just kind of came out. He was three oh. pounds. Yeah, I didn't oh. feel a thing. Wow. 
that looks... oh, that's a that's a little personal, but yeah, he's three pounds and Well like I I'm just how, how is that personal? We were just talking about your <laughs> pussy <laughs> Wait, personal. Well, yeah. I, I'm saying that um like my pussy was not affected because the baby was born like three ti- three sizes too small. I'm waiting for this com- confirmation oh, of some pussy type. three sizes too big. <laughs> I have a suit. I go to work. I make fun of people's kids. <laughs> uh, how much do you get paid, suit? By the way, for doing that. Uh, nothing yet. Smickle's still waiting I the details out. Yeah, uh, suit, suit. I, I will make sure that, that we get you. We get you a proper job on the contract. No, I'll drop uh, the contract. Just sure you're just making fun feet. of people's children. Stop it! No, man, my kid gets made up, made fun of enough in real life. Uh, oh, your I kid, hope not. Your That's kid, up. your kid is a beautiful child, uh, much, much better looking than his mother. Oh, uh, he cool. looks, he looks exactly like his daddy, except uh, without all the all the Satan tattoos. Um, yeah, he actually does have. You tattoos. know your fucking ex has Satan yeah, tattoos. Yeah, he has Satan tattoos. I'm not gonna deny that. <laughs> Say, you pick him, huh, Opal? Oh, I like him white, but I didn't realize he was crazy. <laughs> I like him white, but I didn't realize that white with your head shaved with swastikas and Satan he all over hair. you. I he didn't realize hair. that was a bad thing. He had, he had hair. I he thought had that hair. was just white people. Oh my god. Well, white people are so exotic in my city. God damn. <laughs> Where do you oh, live, Opal? God damn. Like in, I, I'm not gonna like completely dox myself. But ha- like, ha- have you have you seen how fucking white Samaj is? <laughs> Samaj like, um, is pasty white. My um, my city is ninety eight percent Mexican Hispanic. Oh, I see. Okay. I got, I, 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 I got an idea of where you live. Yeah, there's there was like three white kids in my entire high school and college. But yeah. AP guessed the fucking church that she stole from one day. <laughs> <laughs> I was hungry. <laughs> Just off the top, uh, uh, his first fucking guess, he guessed the fucking church. Well, granted, my kid that also, Opal stole from. My, my kid also told him. You're stealing from churches. It was. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> to be fair, her, her kid in the background did start saying the priest's name. It's holy water she was stealing. Oh my god. <laughs> it was after a hurricane. I was really hungry. Oh, it was. I, I, I can flooded. understand. I can understand somebody stealing food uh, to feed uh, their fucking child. I was but like, why from a church? There are so was, many places to steal from. It was, it and you chose Jesus. It wasn't locked. <laughs> oh, okay. It's just, it's, it's, you went from door to door. <laughs> then you're like, okay, locked. Well, locked. Like oh, my, wait, wait. Jesus' door is always open. My entire <laughs> city was flooded, and the church wasn't completely flooded. And I was just like, you know what? The refrigerator works. It's I just, bet the meat locked. in there isn't spoiled yet. <laughs> yeah, I did. I was eating baby food. God damn it. Jeez, you had to resort to eating bait. How long were you like not not able it to get somewhere? It was less than forty eight hours. <laughs> it was like That's two what you weeks. Had no food. You were eating it was it? two weeks. Like the baby had food because I was smart enough to pack baby food, but I forgot adult food. <laughs> and we had no power. <laughs> well, if you're uh, in uh, the uh, area, uh, if uh, you're uh, in the area, I think I donated toys to a charity. So all right, uh, oh, oh, uh, ten dollars. Mr. ML, uh, Mr. LM002. Uh, Opal, don't pay attention to the assholes in chat. Your kid is different, sure, but I believe that you'll do a great job raising him. Yay. What's the last thing you successfully cooked? Um, <laughs> the, the, the beef roast and the tuna steaks. Toast. No, you, your fish uh, that you made uh, the other day did look. Uh, yeah, the tuna steaks. Uh, not just edible, but but delicious. It wasn't dry, was it? No, it was actually really fucking good. It was like, oh my shit, I've made something delicious. I'd buy this again. Holy yeah, fuck. but uh, at the at the same time, uh, you probably shouldn't have fed that to a child. Wait, Wait. No. Uh, it, it was definitely more on the rare side. Well, it, it's supposed to look like that. I followed the recipe completely right. I thought I actually assumed it was okay for children to eat semi uh, rare meat as long as they're not infants. Wait, oh, it, it was cooked. Se- semi rare fish. Oh, okay. That's a different story. It was, it was, a, 
It was ahi tuna, and it's supposed to look like that. I even cooked it a little oh, longer. Oh, uh, may maybe it's just uh, some type of fish that I don't, uh, I don't know shit about then. I, I live at the beach. It. All there is is fish. Oh, okay. We live in the 21st century where we we're regional eaters. <laughs> Come it's, on. it's cheap and affordable. Oh, so now it's cheap and affordable. So the 99 cent store doesn't exist. What? No. I don't no it, it, it is the 99 cent store I'm thing. Just oh, we have here oh, the stores man. and they don't I sell don't care things. What uh, you need. Big fat Brian needs to Guys and girls, I'm going to head off. No, All right, Sue, hey, nice you. talking with you, man. Actually, I've, uh, uh, nice give me, uh, I followed you on Twitter, so maybe we can spat and debate back and forth sometime. I, um, yeah, I guess not? you could make fun of my kids some more. Yeah, uh, okay. so, uh, we'll, we'll make sure uh, we'll, we're, we're going to set up a regular show uh, where, where you and I just make fun of uh, people's children. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Target every week. The next week is Sinatra Says. Good. Hey, he's got two of them. Yeah. Not two of them. Yeah. He has two kids. Yeah, he's a daddy. Yeah, oh, man. Do 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 double the fun. So you I'm too. and Sue. Nice meeting you, man. You can make fun of his kids next. <laughs> oh, good night, Sue. Goodbye, Sue. Oh, I'm not going to bed. I'm just uh, heading off on some things, so. Yeah, but whatever. <laughs> you got to go, you gotta go, go uh, shop for anal beads. We're gonna we're gonna wrap up anyway. I am. I'm looking so, for a picture uh, of my son's feet before the surgery. I, instead of uh, Opal speaking, uh, Samaj, why why don't you tell us who the fuck was here? <sighs> no, let's stay before you go then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Samaj is apparently not here, so I'm just gonna uh, I'm gonna read the list. Uh, we had fucking Tiki Bomber. We had uh, Lady Thorn. We had the Politopod. Uh, uh, the Finer Print. Uh, then a bunch of those people dropping out and coming back. Uh, then we had Logical Lion. Uh, uh, yeah, whatever the Aspie guy calls himself. Uh, we had Drunkle. Uh, Opal. Uh, the Incredible Aspied. Oh, okay, uh, the, the restaurant, uh, the Incredible Aspie. That's it. Suit uh, remembered. And then we got uh, Chambers of My Heart. Uh, we got uh, uh, I forget uh, your full name again. Legit. Legit boss. Le that's it. Oh, uh, we got legit boss. Uh, we we got. Uh, I already said Opal. Oh, uh, Samaj set. Uh, Samaj Zed, right? Legit. Oh, uh, we got suit yourself. Uh, and then uh, we we got me. Um, I'm I'm the guy that runs the shit and all that. Uh, we're, we're gonna, we're, we're gonna end it.